Here's our first match today. We are going to be our second match on this Sunday. As two teams who are looking to pick up their first win of our brand new tournament will go at it. This is the San Beda University Lady Red Spikers taking on the San Sebastian College Recoletos Lady Stags. And we are saying hello to everybody. Lahat ng ating mga kapusong nanunood ngayon sa GTV and also all over social media via NCA Philippines on Facebook and on YouTube. But syempre, para sa lahat ng mga balita sa larangan ng palakasan, do follow GMA Sports PH on Facebook and on X. Mabuhay Pilipinas! My name is Anton Rojas at ngayong araw, napakaswerte natin sapagkat sa unang pagkakataon makakasama natin ang isa sa mga pinakamatagumpay na volleyball players dito sa Pilipinas. Three-time champion with the DLSU Lady Spikers, a five-time champion in the pros and former team captain of the Philippine Women's National Volleyball Team as well. Let us all welcome the one, the only, Mika Reyes. Thank you so much. Sa pressure naman ako doon. Magandang hapon po mga kapuso. Alam mo, Mika, nagulat ako eh na first time mo pala. This is yes. your official debut yes, yes. as a commentator kasi alam naman natin na karamihan sa mga teammates mo have tried mm -hmm. this trade and now it's your first time. How I does know. it feel? Medyo kinakabahan ako but then again, sabi ko nga it's an honor to be with Anton Rojas. Kaya oh. sabi ko naman, hindi naman ako papabayaan ni Anton. <laughs> nah, Siyempre, but Mika, Seriously, we are honored to have you. We've covered you, watched your career, and now it's so refreshing to hear yes. you and have you share your knowledge sa lahat ng mga volleyball fans ngayon. Yes, of course. Thank you. All right. We are going to have fun today. And we also have to complete our broadcast team. Lexi Gonzalez returning for the volleyball season. Ayan po si Lexi. Lexi had some good conversations with the coaches, Coach Roger Gurayev and Coach Edgar Baroga. So we're excited to hear kung ano ba ang may kwento ni Lexi sa atin based on those conversations. We'll get to her in just a bit. Pero ngayon, Mika, silipin natin yung team standings para malaman kung saan nga ba nakapwesto itong dalawang kukunan na ito. Coaches always joke eh, pag wala pang panalo yung teams nila, championship. But ito yung maganda sa volleyball eh, pag gutom sa panalo, they're gonna go all out. Yes, of course. Kasi syempre, alam naman natin na maaga pa kasi yung tournament. Konting games pa lang naman to. So I think, um, siguro hinahanap pa nila yung groove nila. So baka bumabuelo pa ng konti. Bigyan natin sila ng time pa para yeah. maka... It's only the third match para sa San Beda at San Sebastian. So like you said, tama ka, a lot of time para makahabol dito. Nakikita natin, they are at the bottom of the team standings. Benil won in the first match against GRU. They're the defending champions. So very interesting yung early goings ng ating tournament. Yes. Alright, now let's talk about the teams and focus our attention on the team with a new coach. Si Coach Edgar Baroga. New coach, new system, new chapter. Pero yun nga, because they are young, they, are, they have been struggling. At uh, sa kanilang huling laro, they were swept in straight sets by Benil. Um, for sure naman, kasi si Coach Edgar, naging coach ko rin siya mm. before. And bago rin namin siyang coach noon, siguro yung pag-adjust ng mga system and pag-monitor niya sa mga players niya, for sure doon pa rin siya nahihirapan. But then again, um, alam naman natin na yung mga players, nandiyan naman yung adjustment na gusto nila and hopefully lumabas siya ngayong game. At kahit pa paano, Mika, nakikita natin, oh, napantayan ng San Beda yung blocking ng Benil. We know this is one of your specialties as a middle blocker. How happy are you to see a team that's not very tall pero aktibo sa net? Actually, wala rin naman talaga yan sa height. Mm. Kumbaga, lagi nga nare-remind ng mga coaches na yung timing, timing mo sa bola, yung pagpasok mo ng kamay sa loob ng net, yun naman yung pinaka-importante. Kumbaga, hindi kailangan matangkad ka. Yun, you heard it from Mika Reyes, <laughs> ha, sa lahat ng mga middle blockers na nanunood ngayon. All right, now let's focus our attention on one of the players who I'm very excited to cover. Kasi every season, napaka-exciting yung mga rookies na pumapasok. I'm sure you remember this during your collegiate playing days. Si Coach Ramil De Jesus always trying to build up the rookies to become future leaders on the, on the Lady Spikers. Itong si Angel Habakon, rookie pa lang. Pero yung galawan, parang main character. Eh. She yes, has that main character energy. True. And alam naman natin na hindi porket rookie ka lang, 
ikaw yung parang pinakababata, hindi pwedeng ikaw yung parang isa sa mga dinadala. Dapat ikaw rin gusto mo magpadala sa loob ng court and kaya mo rin ilid yung sarili mo para makatulong ka sa team. Si Anjo Pertiera, when we covered San Beda in the previous match, sabi niya mala Gretzel Soltones daw. Young Gretzel Soltones, yung laro nitong si Angel Habakon. We're gonna get Mika's analysis later on when we watch <laughs> Angel play. Yes. Pero sa ngayon, we will take a break and when we come back, oh actually, we're gonna stay on and talk about San Sebastian. Okay, let's go now to San Sebastian's last game which was against LPU and it was a loss in four sets pero mas kina struggle ng San Sebastian, they were able to take that third set, Mika. Yes, uh, medyo dominated ng LPU sa attacking department but then again, nakabawi naman ang San Sebastian sa kanilang service and nakakapantay naman sila sa blocking department as well. And we are seeing yun nga, three blocks, mm -hmm. LPU three blocks as well. So even though San Sebastian is, is not a tall team, as you explained earlier, it's not about that. Sometimes it's about the timing and the anticipation. So let's see if San Sebastian is going to show some improvements dito sa block. One of the players na dapat natin bigyan ng pansin is a player who has stepped up her game ngayong season. Last season, she was only averaging 13.3 points per contest. Pero ngayon, grabe, sa kanilang huling laro, career high, 21 points para kay Tina Marasigan. Yes, siguro um, yung preparation niya for sure during off-season. Nagbunga na ngayon and marami pa tayong aabangan for sure kay Tina Marasigan. Parang ano eh, si Tina Marasigan, medyo quiet storm ala araga lang yung playing style. And yes. uh, we would like to get your thoughts also on the play style nitong si Tina Marasigan. Kat Santos in the last match also had 19 points mm -hmm. para sa San Sebastian. So Mika, since this is your debut as a commentator in the NCAA, what are one of the things na you're looking forward to seeing in the coverage now watching these young players, new generation of volleyball stars? Yes, of course. Because mm -hmm. first time ko actually makanood ng live. Kasi mm -hmm. lagi naman ako sa television lang nakaka-watch. But I'm very excited kung paano natin makikita ang maglaro ang ating mga players ngayon and kung sino ang unang makakuha ng win nila today. And Mika, I'm sure a lot of your fans who have been following you throughout your career are very pleased na, wow, commentator na pala si Mika Reyes. <laughs> so, uh, I'm gonna ask you, what took you so long? <laughs> um, I don't know. <laughs> Busy ka kasi. Yes. But I'm here. <laughs> yeah, Mika's here and that's all that matters. Uh, Mika's had a long volleyball career and now it's nice to see her Give back to the game while she's still an active player. We're seeing Kat Santos, former Rookie of the Year in the NCAA two seasons ago. Beach volleyball player also. A lot of power. Ito, Mika, I want to ask you about this because KJ Junisho, last season, she was San Sebastian's leading scorer. 15.8 points per match, playing the open spiker position. Now, na convert siya sa middle blocker. How hard is that na you're converting yourself to a different position and middle pa? Um, you see, ako hindi ko rin kasi na-experience yun. Mm. Pero yung mga teammates ko kapag nag adjust sila, especially kapag during the season, mahirap talaga. Especially the timing. And syempre, kailangan mo pakausapin yung setter mo kung ano yung gusto mong set. And yung adjustment talaga overall sobrang hirap. Kaya bilib rin talaga ako sa mga players na mabilis or tinatanggap nila, na-accept agad nila yung pagbago ng possession nila. Ano nga eh, kinausap ko si KJ kanina. Sabi ko, first time mo ba mag-switch to middle? Sabi niya, two seasons ago, she was already playing the middle position. And then last season, mm. nag-open spiker siya. And then, she produced a lot of points. Actually, she looked very comfortable as an open spiker. Yun nga, number four in the league in scoring. But now, she's going back to middle. Kasi nga, kulang sa height and kulang sa player si Coach Roger. Yes, yeah, siguro, um, nakikita naman niya ni Coach Roger yung potential niya mm. and alam ko naman na tiwala rin naman sa kanya ang coach niya. I'm looking at the players from San Sebastian, si KJ Junisho at si Amakatan, sila yung uh, nagsasani puwersa sa gitna as the middle blockers. Alright, let's turn it over to our Coliseum announcer para makilala ang mga starters ng San Sebastian at ng San Beda. Magandang hapon mga kapuso! Mula sa Phil Oil, Echo Oil, Center San Juan. Ito po ang inyong NCAA Scenes 99, New Heroes of the Game. Live ngayon sa GTV. 
worldwide sa pamamagitan ng GMA Pinoy TV at GMA News TV International. At may live streaming pa sa gmanetwork.com, NCAA Philippines website, YouTube at Facebook with NCAA updates, highlights and results on GMA Integrated News. Presenting our officials for this match, first referee, Rory Casillian. Second referee, Darius Caganda. This is match number 12 in the women's division between the San Bela University Lady Red Spikers versus the San Sebastian College Recoletos Lady Stags. Now let's meet the starters. First, for the San Beda University Lady Red Spikers. Outside hitter number one, Angel Habacon. Opposite hitter number two, Clay Abraham. Setter number eight, Kat Molina. Outside hitter number 10, Sophie Tagalawan. Middle blocker number 12, Jade De La Cruz. Another middle blocker number 16, Erin Navarro. And their starting libero is number 11, Mikai Flores. The coach for the Lady Red Spikers is Edgar Baroga. Now let's meet the starters for the San Sebastian College Recoletos Lady Stags. Led by team captain Milbacher number 10, Amakatan. Outside hitter number one, Kat Santos. Middle blocker number two, KJ Dunisho. Outside hitter number four, Tina Marosigan. Opposite hitter number 12, Juna Gonzalez. And their setter number 13, Von Dimaculangan. Their starting libero is number nine, Chloe Lazarte. The coach for the Lady Stags is Roger Goroyev. So let's take a look at the starters for both San Beda and San Sebastian as we have been explaining throughout the first week of action. Itong dalawang kupuna na ito, maraming mga bagong players. San Beda has a whopping 11 new additions to the team of Coach Edgar Baroga. So hindi biro yun, Mika, no, na in one season, 11 yung bagong rookies na pumasok sa team. Yes, and I know naman, Coach uh, Edgar, na nagpe-prepare yan, naghahanda yan, kumbaga, mga um, ipapag-ready yan sa future niya. Sa San Sebastian naman, kumbuna ni Coach Roger Goreb, eight new players for his squad. Pero ang maganda dito, the rookies, just like Angel Habacon of San Beda, have been showing their potential early on in the tournament. Here we go. The first rally has officially begun. Back row attack agad para kay Kat Santos. Popped up from the back row. It is a back set. And San Sebastian is able to keep it alive. It's a free ball for the Lady Red Spikers. Quick attack para kay Navarro. Does not work. Dimakulangan to Amakatan. And I don't know if it's the presence of Mika Reyes, pero middle blocker ang unang nakapuntos dito sa laban na to. Uh, pareho ngang maganda ang defense ng dalawang team. Yun nga lang, hindi sila ready no, sorry, sa drop ball ni Tan. Nung panahon mo ba, maraming middle blockers na team captain during your collegiate playing years? There were a few. Um, coach as Ate Abby Marano, siya rin yes. ang naging team captain natin. I remember those years as Kat Santos gets the point off of that cross court hit. Amakatan, team captain for the first time para sa San Sebastian. Our score is 2 
This is Tina Marasigan, who's currently the leading scorer of the Lady Stags in the early goings of this tournament. Back set. Dumakulangan, popping it up. Kat Santos na naman, down the line. Kat Santos trying to uh, target down the line, but siguro napasobra lang. At minsan talaga, I'm, I'm pretty sure from your experience and playing with some great and strong open spikers, nakikita mo, di maiwasan na, nanggigigil din. Totoo, kahit ako rin naman. Lalo na kapag alam kong open block yan. <laughs> Balikang bola dito sa San Sebastian. Over-receive, Kat Santos. Oh, that was short, Saya. Ito yung mga hirap, mahirap na paluin, no? yung makuha yung timing sa ganong klaseng play. Good intention naman, but then again, mababa siguro yung set and um, gusto niyang targetin yung corner. Hindi makulangan. Going back to Kat Santos. Yes, finally! <laughs> so, karamihan sa mga sets ni Dimakulangan have been tossed towards the way of Kat Santos who is trying to have a bounce back season after nag-dip yung kanyang scoring in season 98. Amakatan gets this one in. Molina to Angel Habakon. Angel Habakon! It was an out-of-system play at Habakon nagawa niya ng paraan na makakuha ng point. And Mika, this is the matchup of the day. We have two great open spikers, third-year player Kat Santos and Angel Habakon. Yes. Here's the pass. Here is the set. Pasok si Santos. Kat Santos! Talagang hinahanap ni Dumakulangan si Santos, no? Trying to get her going early on. Yes. Von Dimakulangan gets this one in. Habakon. Here's the spike, does not work. Cross court, Dimakulangan was there. Santos na naman. Nabangan ni Habakon. Angel. Wow! What a spike! Very impressive rookie, Angel Habakon. Sobrang taas ang reach niya. And napadaan niya rin talaga yung sa gitna ng mga blockers. Mika Reyes impressed by the high-flying ability of this rookie, Angel Habakon. Pero dikit ha, dikit ang uh, early goings ng ating laban ngayon. Is there any player right now that comes to mind that you can compare dito kay Angel Habakon? Let us see. <laughs> Ayan o. Oh. Do you remember uh, Sid De Mesilio? Yes, of yeah. course. Wow. Parang pareho silang mag-approach. Si Sid, ano rin yun eh. X-factor din eh. Totoo. <laughs> Tsaka, ano lang siya, focused. Silent killer. Yeah. Wow, that's an interesting uh, comparison. <laughs> Sid de Mesilio. Six to five ang ating talaan. Angel Habakon still at the service line. Score is six to five. Ito yung inaabangan sa kanya, Mika, yung jump serve. Alam mo, matagal ko na rin gustong itry yan, pero... <laughs> wala eh. <laughs> Never ka ba nag-attempt mag-jump serve ever? Sa practice lang. Practice, in a game. Pero hindi ako pinapayagan ng coach ko, so... May tiwala ako sa kanya. Alam niya ako ano yung mga kabuti sa akin. <laughs> But you know what, yesterday, in uh, the Arellano match, um, there was a player, si Laika Tudlasan. Jump serve siya ng jump serve, pero nakatatlong service error. So, nung crucial na, late in the game, sinurbol niya. Kung ako rin yun, yun din yung gagawin ko. <laughs> Doon tayo sa sigurado na, kumbaga, lalo na kung crucial. And, and actually, nag-work yung adjustment niya. Kasi, 
na limitahan yung errors nila and eventually they won the match. Mm -hmm. So sometimes also, even if you want to be aggressive, you also have to make sure that you limit your errors. Yes, and syempre, kailangan naman natin tulungan yung team natin. Mahirap naman kung uh, errors yung makakakontribute, di ba? Here's KJ Dionisio, one of our storylines for this season. Kasi nga, balik middle blocker si KJ. All right, we have a technical timeout. San Beda leads San Sebastian 8 to 6. At sa aming pagpabalik, may courtside update sa atin si Lexi Gonzalez about the two coaches. Good job sa kanyang pagbabalik sa Olympic stage, si Pinay weightlifter Elrin Ando. Matapos po yan ang matagumpay niyang performance sa women's 59kg event ng 2024 IWF World Cup sa Phuket, Thailand. Nakabuhat siya ng total na 228kg at nakakuha pa ng ikapitong pwesto. Naungusa ng 25-year-old Pinay weightlifter ang kapo atleta at Tokyo Olympics gold medalist na si Heidi Lindia sa parehong kategori. We are back here at the NCAA Season 99 Women's Volleyball San Sebastian versus San Beda. This is a game that will determine who among these two teams will back their first win from a 0-2 standing. That's why the two coaches are eager to fire up their players. Sabi nga sa akin ni Coach Edgar Baroga ng San Sebastian Lady Red Spikers na para sa kanila, this is a championship game dahil ito raw ang magigage ng direction nila this season. At chance din daw nila ito para maiangat ang moral ng isa't isa. Sa panig naman ng San Sebastian, I was able to talk to a frustrated Coach Roger Gorayev. He said he just wants his players to focus and not just play, but to win the game. Kayo ba, Anton and Mika, may personal bets na ba kayo? Uh, masasabi ko lang, Lexi, um, hindi pa nagpa-five cents yung uh, mga laban natin dito sa NCAA. So kung mag-five cents to, kasalanan ni Mika rin. Bakit ako? <laughs> Siyempre, debut eh. Kailangan ni welcome ka, di ba? Ready naman tayo, Chad. Oh, ready. Yeah. Mika has a lot of time now. Kaya, kaya lang po siya nagkaroon ng uh, chance mag-commentator. Da dati, for the longest time, super busy. Okay, so now, yes. swerte natin. Full-time na, athlete tayo. Yes, yes. <laughs> Grabe. Mika Reyes, I, I was shocked looking at your uh, bubuking ba kita? Huwag na, Wikip <laughs> Wikipedia page sa, <laughs> sa age ni Mika. Kasi I, I started covering Mika when she was a rookie for the Lady Spikers. And for the longest time, actually, we've been waiting for her to try commentary. So, nagulat ako ngayon lang. <laughs> And, well, and in the NCAA of all places. Actually, ikaw talaga yung rason dito. Sabi ko, gusto mo makapartner si Anton. Ano kaya feeling kapag katabi natin si Anton sa panel? So sabi ko, okay, ipupush ko na to. <laughs> It's different eh, because we've interviewed you many times. So ngayon naman, tayo yung nag... Uh, we're bouncing ideas off each other. <laughs> Back row. Old. Yeah. But I mean, that's life. And dami na mga galing na players mo. Ngayon na nanood na lang ako na sa gilid. And and that's why we also need you here to you know educate the fans and also provide insights. Because these players, they watch, they know who you are. They're also interested to see your thoughts sa games nila and whatever bits of information and knowledge and wisdom na mapupulot nila. They're very appreciative of that as well. Yes, thank you, Anton. <laughs> thank you, Mika, for the time. <laughs> Nine to eight, ang ating talaan, San Beda, with the one-point advantage. Molina, back set. Navarro, kulang sa wrist action. Good attempt for Kagalawan. Medyo na late lang ng pote, pero nandun yung pag-attempt niya sa bola. Yun naman yung importante. Yung sinasabi ng mga coach na, i-attempt mo lang kahit hindi mo maabutan. Marasigan back at the service line. Tabla po tayo, 9-all. Oh, she's doing the jump serve. Very aggressive. Abraham, popped up by Marasigan. Di makulangan. Sending it over to the Sun Beda side. Oh! Biglang bumagsak yung bola. 
is this a skill that you can somewhat uh you know, master but work on yung biglang pagbagsak ng bola um i can say uh sometimes may uh chances na yung corner talaga yung mata target mo kapag naka flat ball pag uh. ang target mo is yung flat ball mo siya yung walang spin oh and mapapractice naman siya during uh, during training Pero mahirap gawin yun, ha? De de deciding in-game, di ba, kung isi-spin mo or flat ball. Yes. Actually, tinatry ko siyang gawin sa running attack. Mm. Kasi siguradong walang tao sa corner. Eh. Yeah. Ten all. San Sebastian, eight spike points here in this match. Habakon again. That was inside. Approach ni Habakon. Full force. Well, that was pretty close actually. Pero uh, referees say it's a point for Angel. Uh oh. Second referee actually approaching because we have Von de Makulangan talking to our first referee. Coach Roger is also talking to our linesman, Mika. I think they were saying na hindi siya inside talaga, but... Go, 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 let's go! You know what? Based on the replay, I think Coach Roger has a point. And si Rod, Coach Roger doesn't usually do that, na hmm. matagal siya makipag-usap sa linesman unless he strongly feels that yes. it was out. So anyway, tuloy ang ating laro. Not over for Kat Santos. And now San Beda, the vibe is... <laughs> is starting to become more positive para sa San Beda. Still serving for San Beda. And in the battle. Magkaiba rin, Mika, yung ugali and demeanor ng mga coaches natin, no? Coach Roger and Coach Edgar. You played for Coach Edgar as, as you mentioned, naging coach mo. Uh, what's he like? Is he always this serious? Or ano rin? <laughs> Ma ma pabiro rin si coach minsan. Kapag sa training, serious yan. Ah. Right after practice yan, nagbibiro ka na yan. Kinukulit ka na yan. Very father figure. Pero kapag game, What's... medyo may pagka masungit si coach. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Coach Edgar. <laughs> Binukin ko siya today. <laughs> Ganon din ba ugali ni Kyra? <laughs> Si Gaira, nakasama ko yan sa college before, pero hindi kami matagal nagkasama actually, kaya, pero nakaka nakakasalubong ko siya and she was a good friend of mine. Let's take a look at this drop ball attempt by Angel Habakon and the back row by Marasigan. Twelve all, dikit! Itong laban na to. Good save. Gambola dito sa paste. Wow! Nice play by Di Makulangan. And Juna Gonzalez, another rookie. Malakas yun, ha? Ang tabang ng bata. Imagine eight new players for San Sebastian. Gamit agad, may playing time. And showing us some power. And you see, si Dima Kalakan, hindi niya talaga ng kumpiyansa. Yung mga players niya. Rookie ka man o hindi, bibigyan ka na ng bola. Alam ko papatayin ko to. This is a sophomore. Klein Abraham. And Abraham is at the service line now. Tablan na naman po tayo. 13 all. Back row for Marasigan. Abraham was there. Hapakon na naman going down the line. Santos. Popped up by Flores. Hapakon. Ooh. Oh my. Hindi natin gusto na makita na may ma-injure o may mangyari 
masama. So, good effort pa din naman. Alam naman natin na ayaw nilang pabayaan yung bola na yun. But then again, kailangan pa rin natin mag Tina Marasikan was able to get up right away naman. Pero yun nga, tough situation kasi nakatingin siya sa bola eh, while running. Mas nagsa-celebrate sa ngayon yung San Beda ha, kumpara sa San Sebastian. Mas maganda nga yung aura nila. Mm. Makikita natin dito sa loob ng court na mas masaya sila, nag -e enjoy talaga sila sa game. Abraham. Di makulangan. And that's another point for San Sebastian. Juna Gonzalez. You see, siguro itong um, San Sebastian, team face mode lang talaga. Maka yun yung gusto nila ngayon. <laughs> Pero for me, I think during your time, kailangan mix yan eh. May, yes. may game face, tapos nagsiselebrate din. Actually, minsan nga hindi na namin alam ano ba dapat. <laughs> Pag nagagalit na si Coach Ramil, nagselebrate ko. So, I think it's a matter of finding the right balance, no? Totoo. Alright, we'll take another break. San Sebastian, down by two. Good job ang isang Pinay weightlifter na nag-qualify sa 2024 Paris Olympics. Si Rosie Ramos na ang ikapitong pambata ng Pilipinas sa Paris. Nakuha niyang slot matapos manalo sa women's 49kg category sa Olympic Qualifying Tournament ng International Weightlifting Federation sa Phuket, Thailand. Two teams looking for their first wins. Here in season 99 of the NCAA, and let's uh, give a shout out to our Mancom representatives, Tony Kabochan and Sir Frank Goosey, San Beda and Perpetual, respectively. And there is the new coach of San Beda, Coach Edgar Baroga. Will this be the day for him? There's his prized rookie, Angel Habakon. That's Dr. Lorenzo Lorenzo of Emilio Aguinaldo College. Enjoying the match from the VIP section. Wow. Popped up. And Kagalawan. Hits the ball, check out, and it goes straight to Mika Reyes' hands. Mukhang nagpaparamdam na. <laughs> Kailangan na daw ako maglaro. <laughs> 17 to 14, San Beda with a three-point lead. Habakon. And this is what I was describing kanina na high risk, high reward. Yes. When you do the jump serve, and eventually, you're going to have to make a tough decision. Pagpapatuloy mo ba yan or will you go for the sure thing? Let's see. Oh! Nagawan pa ng paraan. And the ball will go back to San Beda. Molina, quick attack to De La Cruz. Wow. Isa lang yung blocker niya, kitang kita ng setter na walang sumabay, kaya biglang binigay na lang talaga. Ikaw, what goes through your mind when the setter sets it up to you and nakita mo, isa lang yung sumabay sa'yo? Una, titignan ko muna kung nasaan yung libero. Okay. Uh, kasi alam naman natin na ready-ready yung libero, so sabi ko, dun tayo sa mga kapunto. So usually, zone 1 yung una kong target Pero kung wala naman yung libero sa loob, pwede ko lang i-cross court agad yan. Yan. Picking the brains of Mika Reyes. <laughs> Alam niyo na, yung strategy niya. Kagalawan. Habakon. Santos. Marasigan. Molina to Kagalawan. Long rally. Di makulangan. 
Dumarasigan, Kagalaw, and keeps it alive. Habakon, back row, Santos was there. Dimakulangan, Dumarasigan! Oh! Ayaw magpatalo ng both teams sa kanilang depensa. And I can imagine, Mika, after a long rally, getting a block is the best feeling. I know. Yes, mas gusto ko makakuha ng block kaysa makascore ng malapit ka sa pinapit. Eh, abot na abot ka ng blocker eh. Anong gagawin mo? Ako magtuturo sa'yo para makapag-isip ka. Ha? O tinitignan mo na naman ako eh. Sabi ko, hindi naman bawal mag-drop ball eh. Dikit na yung bola sa Reminding the girls, and totoo naman, di ba? Sabi nga ni Coach Roger na, gusto mo ba ako pa yung mag-drop ball para sa'yo? Mika, have you ever played under Coach Roger in any capacity? As far as I can remember, parang hindi pa. Hindi pa, wow, that's a... That's a itsy-bitsy bit of trivia. Naalala ko, gustong-gusto niya akong kunin for Ateneo before. Wow, the rival school pa. Yes. Pero that's interesting ha. Sa tagal mo sa volleyball, not even once. Never pa kami nagkasama ni Coach Roger. Kahit assistant coach or anything sa national team. Ang alam ko ha. Yes, ang alam ko. Parang never. Wow, that's an interesting fact right there. Kagalawa. Finding the middle. Kagalawa! But did you ever wonder what it could be like? Because I'm sure that you saw how Coach Roger, his reputation precedes himself. Did you ever wonder like how it how it would be for you if you had a chance to play under the legendary Coach Roger Gorayev? Yes, actually, I also wanted to be a coach even before. But if I get a chance, right? If I get back, maybe Coach Roger. You never know, no? I know. In, in your career and in life, as we see this aced by one of the players who also showed a lot of promise and improvement, see Jade De La Cruz, rookie middle blocker. And you can really see na nag enjoy talaga sa la, sa loob. De La Cruz gets that one in. Here's the toss. Kagalawan breaks down the wall. What a spike. Challenging the blockers. Bigyan din natin ng credit si ang ating setter. Maganda at gustong gusto kagalawan yung set na yun. Tingin ko gustong gusto mo rin yung celebration ni Kagalawan. Mala Lady Spiker celebration yun. Yes. Oh! Free ball. Napunta dito sa mga bidista. Wow! Kat Molina, last season was an open spiker. Now she's playing the center position. You don't know? You don't know what's in or out? You know? So how come you did not, you received that ball? The ball is going towards you. It's going out. But you stay in the middle. Why don't you turn around? Move away from the ball. I don't need to tell you. It's a high ball. Nakikita na natin yung frustration ni Coach Roger. Siguro kung kaya niya maglaro sa loob ng court, siya na lang ang maglalaro. You know, it's a... Another kind of frustration when he speaks in straight English. <laughs> actually. <laughs> that was actually the first huddle I've ever heard sa tagal ko nagko-cover ng volleyball Totoo. na almost straight English <laughs> para kay Coach Roger Gorayab. <laughs> Hindi na siguro gumagana yung Tagalog kaya iniipa na ni Coach yung atake niya. Yan. Naging effective nga. <laughs> Kailangan siguro ganong approach ang gagawin ni Coach Roger every time out. And coach is a man also who wears different hats. So, magaling din yan mag-adjust. He knows how to turn on a switch. 
in a person's mind, yun lang. Set point. Set point. Yun lang yung masakit doon. You're trying to get back in the game. And then you commit an error. Sila rin yung pumuputol ng kanilang momentum. Si Makulana. Marasigan. And that's a place where you do not want to risk yourself. Yes. On time to serve for the Lady Stags. Coach Edgar calls a timeout. Timeout, San Pedro. Si Kyra naman, all smiles. Yan, Very pretty girl. <laughs> Laging naka-support yan. Si Kyra always sitting at the back of the bench of her dad. And she's also a member of our broadcast team. Actually, sa kanya ako una nagtanong ng mga tips. Ah, oh, yeah? Yeah. Hey, Abraham gets the point for San Beda. And San Beda takes the opening set, pulling away midway through the set. They take it 25 to 17. Magbabalik po kami for set number two. This is our live coverage of NCAA Season 99. Bigong makapasok sa 2024 Paris Olympics si Tokyo Olympic gold medalist at Pinay weightlifter na si Haydelin Diaz. Hindi nakamit ni Diaz ang kailangang puntos sa 59 kilogram weightlifting category sa qualification rounds ng 2024 IWF World Cup. Dagdag naman sa listahan ng pambato ng Pilipinas para sa Paris Olympics ang Pinay weightlifter na si Elrin Ando. Pinataob ni Ando si Diaz sa parehong weight category. Si Ando na ay kasyam na Pilipino na lalaban para sa Paris Olympics. Back-to-back -back champion ang Letran Squire sa NCAA Juniors Basketball Tournament. Tinalo nila ang Perpetual Junior Altas sa Game 3 ng Season 99 Finals nitong Sabado. Sa buong game, nanguna ang Squires at hindi pinahabol ang Altas. Umabot pa sa 16 points ang lamang. Final score, 93-76. You're watching our live coverage of NCAA Season 99. New heroes of the game on GTV. San Beda taking the opening set contra sa San Sebastian College Recoletos Lady Stags. Tikip yung laban sa early goings, but then San Beda started to play more confidently, play more happy, the vibe changed, and they were able to pull away. Yes, ang San Beda naman natin ay buong buo ang kumpiyansa. Siguro sa unang part ng set, uh, close fight pa, pero eventually, dami na nakapuha ang aces, ang dami lang na execute the play, and nakalayo na rin talaga sila. Now for San Sebastian, Nika, what do you think happened along the way na parang nawalan sila ng focus and then lumaki, lumobo yung lamang ng San Beda? I think yung mga miscommunication sa yung mga pa unte unte na nangyare sa last set and hindi rin siguro sila nakapag-usap ng maayos kung sino ang kukuha ng bola. Siguro kailangan lang talaga nilang makuha yung groove nila. Siguro um, kailangan pa nilang mas mag-effort pa this set too. And we're looking at them right now. They're talking amongst themselves. So di makulangan tinuturuan pa si Amakata ng proper placement of the arms. I don't know if that's gonna work, but let's take a look at the statistics here. In their attacks, hindi naman nagkakalayo ang uh, San Beda at uh, San Sebastian. But then again, mas marami rin talaga ang blocks ng San Beda. At kitang-kita naman natin yon last set. And mas marami rin sila nakakuhang aces. At kung hindi namang mga aces, nagkakaroon pa ng uh, mas madaming uh, misreceives ang San Sebastian. 
And we are ready for set number two. Maraming salamat muli sa inyong panonood. Anton Rojas alongside a debuting Mika Reyes, first time <laughs> on the panel. We're very lucky to have her here as a member of the broadcast team. Of course, at courtside, kasama rin natin si Lexi Gonzalez, who is set. sharing with us all the conversations and stories that she had with the players and our coaches. So, ano naman yung advice ni Kyra sa yon? Being that she was the first person you asked uh, <laughs> siya kasi about yung, this. Ano ko, na panood. Ah, I see. Kaya sa, okay. sa opening. Okay. Sabi okay. ko, Kyra, pwede mo ba akong senda ng mga tips? Kasi ah. first time ko. Sabi niya, ate, kaya ang kaya mo yan. mag enjoy ka lang. Tapos yung nalaman ko nga na si Anton yung kasama ko, sabi ko, mukha nga. Madali lang ito. mag enjoy lang ako dito. <laughs> Pero iba rin yung feeling, no? I mean, uh, I know, yes. It, it's different when you're being interviewed and yes. now you're the one sharing your thoughts while the game is happening. Yes, actually, iba rin kasi, um, oh, what happened there? Nadulas, si Flores. Delikado yun. Okay, you were saying? Um, iba rin talaga ang uh, feeling kapag nasa loob ka. Siguro, yung thoughts mo patong patong na yan pero kapag nasa labas kina siguro captain captain wider um, perspective hindi na crossing pero interference ya so sa kabila ng bola Inter ah. uh, sorry, interference ya kasi ginawa niya yung bola kit na nabangga niya yung kumukuha ng bola kaya nag nagkaroon ng reaction sa game okay the in interference yung interference So, sabi ng ating first referee, interference. Kasi nabagga daw yung player sa kabilang side ng net. Yes. Talaga nag-slide yung libero eh, si Flores. She was really trying to get that ball. So, yun pala yung rule. Pag uh, nabangga yung player on the other side, bola ng team na nabangga. Because interference. That's according to our first referee. Who's the one libero that that you've played with on the same team that pag alam mong nasa likuran mo siya, you're very confident that she can have your back and pick up that ball in case makalusot sa blocking. Nako. Kailangan ko pang sagutin yan. <laughs> Ang hirap naman ng tanong mo, Anton. <laughs> Kasi you played with so many great liberos, right? Ang hirap. Ang It's hirap hard. Pamili. But I, I guess, I guess, lahat. I guess all of them kasi have a different skill set, no? Totoo. And lahat naman sila laging nandyan para sa akin. Diba? Like say, Dawn. <laughs> si Dawn, feeling ko you don't really have to tell her what to do. Yes. Alam na. Yes. Si Achimel going din, ganun din. Uh. Si Kat Arado, ganun din. Si Buding Durantes, ganun din. So, lahat talaga si Lay. Grabe yung mga naging teammates ni Mika. Talagang <laughs> top tier ni Beros. Yes. Si Buding, ano na yan eh. Later generation na yan eh. Mas oh, bata na eh. Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Parang pinapatanda mo ako. Doon, <laughs> <laughs> eh, kung tumatanda ka, mas lalo na ako. Ayoko na ng tanongin eh. <laughs> Angel Habakon gets the point. Naalala ko nung rookie ka, tahimik mo ba eh? Hanggang ngayon naman. <laughs> tahimik pa rin ako. <laughs> Kasi kabatch mo si Ara, di ba? Yes, and the Cruz Twins. Yun. I, and I, Carol Cerveza. I remember going to your practice one time, tapos uh, Coach Renel was telling me na, yung mga rookies, medyo tahimik pa eh. Mm. Di pa masyadong vocal. Mm. And then, look at what happened to you. Naging team captain ng national team. <laughs> Siyempre, hindi ka pwedeng tahimik pag team captain ka. Yes. <laughs> Abraham. New center on the floor for San Sebastian. Wearing jersey number five. That's Marga Adia. Habakot. Adia to Amakatan. Mm. Alam mo, kitang-kita ko na ibibigay na rin talaga ng setter nila. 
yung bola kay Tan. Kasi isa lang yung blocker and may tiwala rin talaga siya na sure, point na to. Not bad, ah. Huh? Uh, first time siya pinasok and mm -hmm. she doesn't look that nervous. And syempre yung confidence at that, yun lang, <laughs> na-jinx ko ata yung bata. <laughs> But before that, that was a good play to Amakatan. Yes. Let's see the next sequence. Last season kasi, yung setter nila, talking about Baste, was Vea Season, who was their team captain, veteran setter. Mm -hmm. So now, they have two rookie setters. So it's, it's such a different situation from having one veteran setter, tas ngayon, dalawang rookie setter. For sure, Coach Roger, hinanda niya yung mga setters niya and hindi niya yan ipapasok nang hindi pa ready. Kat Santos with that jump serve a la Lady Beast, Gretzel Soltones. De La Cruz keeping it alive. Back row para kay Habakon. Adia. Another one! set and again yung tiwala na binibigay niya sa medal blocker niya kay Tan buong buong so that's kumbaga plus points para kay Adia in the eyes of coach Roger but that's two service errors in this set for the yes. lady stacks Every time na kuwas sila na magandang play, na magandang point, pagdating naman sa likod, mag-error sila. Very momentum killer. Shade de la Cruz, Santos with the pass. Here is the toss to Marasiga. Drop ball popped up by Abraham Molina. Papalik ang bola sa San Beda. Navarro, drop ball does not work. Adia was there, Marasiga. Molina, solid blocking by San Sebastian. Kagalawan can't get the point. Back row para kay Santos. De La Cruz was there. Molina to Kagalawan. Sophie, Kagalawan. You see, akala ko kanina nagmamadali lang talaga yung set or wala sa pwesto. Pero napapansin ko, ganun talaga kababa at kabilis yung set ng San Beda. And it's very effective for them. So even though Molina is a converted setter, she's able to adjust well in this particular match. Marasigan, cross court, good save by Habakon. This is going to be a free ball for the Lady Stats back set. Wow! What a spy! <laughs> So this is Zenith Joy de Pozoy. ng middle blocker para mag-isang blocker lang dito sa opposite side. ZJ is her nickname. So that's a good point for ZJ. She gets it back. ZJ again! Pakita ng lakas itong si CJ Deposoy giving San Sebastian a one-point lead. At sa aming pagbabalik, we will get another courtside update from Lexi Gonzalez. Don't go away. Another good news mga kapuso, pasok na rin po sa 2024 Paris Olympics ang Pinoy weightlifter na si Jan Februar Siniza. Yan ay matapos siyang magwagi sa qualification tournament na 2024 IWF World Cup sa Thailand. Nakuha ni Seniza ang ikaapat na pwesto sa men's 61 kg weightlifting category. Siya ay kawalong dagdag sa pambato ng Pilipinas para sa 2024 Paris Olympics. Una nang nag-qualify sa 49... We're back here at the NCAA Season 99 Women's Volleyball San Sebastian vs. San Beda. Nako, hindi lang ang mga coaches ang gutom na gutom manalo, kundi kitang kita na rin na pati ang ating mga players. Nakausap ko nga si Kat Santos kanina. And she said na aware naman 
daw sila sa sinasabi ni Coach Roger that their problem is their mentality. That's why this time they will try to boost each other's confidence and that she will use the pressure to motivate herself inside the court. And from the side of the Lady Red Spikers, Angel Habakon, the rookie, told me that for her, there is no pressure right now because she said that I am not alone inside the court and I know that my teammates have my back and I have their backs too. Oh, di ba? Bakbakan talaga. Ang sarap makapanood ng ganitong laro, hindi ba, Anton and Mika? Totoo naman, ano, na sometimes iisipin mo that it's all on you, you have to perform, but volleyball is a team sport. Yes, actually, kahit anong gawin mo, kahit na ibuos mo lahat na gusto mo ikaw lang ang gumawa, hindi pwede rin talaga yun. Kailangan tulungan ka ng teammates mo, may ka ng tulong sa kanila. Adia was there. The Posoy again. ZJ with a drop ball. Flores to Abraham. Popped up by Gonzalez. The Posoy not over. It's easy, the Posoy. Ever since um, seven years old, pala. Naglalaro na siya ng volleyball. And she's from Dumaguete City, Negros Oriental. I love Dumaguete. I love their food. Uh, Napoleones? Ay, hindi, Bacolod pala yun. Uh, what do you call it? Ano nga ba ang ano nila? Masarap na pag-try. Naalala ko sa Dumaguete yung ano eh, parang Baywalk nila. Mm. They have their own version. Sa Bacolod, inasal. Yeah, and sa dessert, Napoleones, di ba? Napoleones. Kasi kasi kumain ni Mika eh. <laughs> I love food. <laughs> Hindi ko itatanggi yan. <laughs> well, same. But you're not a dessert person? I am. Oh, you are? Okay. I'm surprised you don't know about the Napoleones. Uh, I love Napoleones. <laughs> ah, okay, okay. But, but you love Inasal more? Yes. <laughs> Gusto ko ako partner ng rice. <laughs> <laughs> it's a three-point lead for San Beda. So, Yun ang nangyayari ngayon is pretty similar to what happened in the first set na dikit tapos biglang lumobo yung lamang ng San Beda. Bakit hindi ka dumipensa ron? Ha? Bakit hindi ka dumipensa? Dadaan sa tagiliran mo yung bola eh. Ay, Jesus Maria Josep, eh, lahat na lang ba ng bagay sasabihin sa inyo? Hindi. Kaya ano ginagawa niyo dyan? Eh, bay Magkusa naman kayo. Naglalaro kayo, di kayo nagkakasama. That was a 4-0 run. Sabi nga ni Coach Roger, naglalaro kayo ngayon, hindi kayo nag -e Pero syempre, kahit naman sa ensayo at uh, during the game, iisa lang dapat yung mentality namin. Four service aces for San Beda. Dito rin talaga sila bumabangko ng puntos. Yeah, even in the first set. Yes. Nakadalawa yung San Beda sa aces. Para Sigan, check out. Another out of system play, pero nagawan pa ni Marasigan. Na-convert niya pa ito into a point. ZJ Deposoy will start this rally para sa San Sebastian. She's also going for that jump serve. Navarro. Marasigan. And she gets denied by Navarro and Abraham. That was a good block. At reading ready ang blockers ng San Beda. Mika, fill in the blanks. Or the blank. Blocking is all about... Timing. I had a feeling you were gonna say that. <laughs> So it goes back to what you said in the beginning as we see another block. 
timing again. Good timing. Yes, of course. Kasi hindi naman yan sa taas ng reach mo, kumbaga. Yung timing mo sa pagpasok mo ng kamay mo sa loob ng net, yun yung pinaka-importante. Yung payong na sinasabi nila. Okay, for you, what's the biggest momentum changer in volleyball? Um, let us see. Is it like a block after a long rally? Is it a spike that was able to go through three blockers? Siguro as a medal blocker, yung block talaga. Especially kapag single block. Ah. Iba yung kumpiyansa na nakukuha natin kapag nakaka-single block. Some uh, Mika Reyes highlights are flashing in my mind right now. I don't want to mention. Just leave it to your imagination as we see. Another good block by San Beda. It's been all about blocking as of late para sa San Beda. But you see, kailangan din naman na ready ang San Sebastian na mag-cover dito knowing na two blockers na agad ang nakabantay sa kanilang outside spiker. Here's the toss. Too strong for Deposoy. Some of their errors talaga are contributing para makalayo ang score ng San Beda and I don't think magiging masaya si Coach Roger dito. Lima na eh. Yun lamang ng San Beda sa ngayon. Back row attack for Marasigan going cross court. Narinig tayo ni Marasigan. Sabi niya, teka hindi pa tapos ang set. Gonzalez gets that one in. Molina back set. It's a long back set for Abraham. And Abraham re-establishes the five-point lead. Para sa San Beda will take a break. Back with more right here on GTV. Good job sa kanyang pagbabalik sa Olympic stage, si Pinay weightlifter Elrin Ando. Matapos po yan, ang matagumpay niyang performance sa women's 59kg event ng 2024 IWF World Cup sa Phuket, Thailand. Nakabuhat siya ng total na 228kg at nakakuha pa ng ikapitong pwesto. Naungusa ng 25-year-old... It is a 16 to 11 advantage by San Beda here in set number two. The story of the first set and the second set are pretty similar. Dikit sa simula, and then after the double digit mark, bumihi wala na yung San Beda. Yes, Anton, and nagsisimula rin talaga yan sa kanilang service. Ang dami natang nakita na service aces at miss receives ng San Sebastian. Abraham continues to be aggressive, but too wide. Mukhang nabati ko ulit. Yan ang tinatawag na broadcaster's jinx. Parang sa basketball, pag sinabi mo yung percentage ng free throw, tapos mataas, tapos biglang nagmintis. Habakot. Cross court. Good target. Medyo mahirap targetin yung ganun kahaba ha? para sa mga outside spider. At yun din naman yung pinakamahirap depensahan. Buka shells ba yung suot ni Angel Habakon? I'm not... Bagay na bagay sa summer. Sure. <laughs> summer mode na siya. Oh. And, and wearing it while playing on the court. Santos. There's the familiar power of Kat Santos. Sobrang taas ang reach ni Santos, no? Let's check the replay. She's really targeting the hands of the blocker. And we know naman yung San Beda kanina pa kasi nakaka-block yan. Kaya si Kat Santos nag-a-adjust din yan. 
running attack para kay Jade. ZJ. Angel. Molina with the drop. Wow. Molina finding that hole. Would you say, well, Kim Fajardo obviously, the different style of Kim Fajardo. Eh. Actually, para sa akin mas <laughs> ano eh, mas uh, game changer yung pag biglang pumapalu si Kim. Mm, yeah, sumihinga siya ng bola sa akin minsan kapag ako na kuha na second ball. <laughs> <laughs> Pero I remember uh, yung magaling din mag drop ball, the setter before. Fajardo, si Mika also Esperanza. Yes, yes, yes. She's a doctor now. I, I saw. Mm -hmm. Congratulations. So proud of her. <laughs> Molina. Deposoy. Oh. Wala ulit ready para sa uh, mga cover. Nung block na yun. You see, kanina pa rin nila yung problema. Lahat, nandun lahat sa ilahan. Kulang na lang lahat kayo ng first liner eh. Ba't kayo nagsisiksikan tayo? Lima na yung kumukover doon. Sumasama pa kayo. Eh dito ka sa likod eh. Kaya si Scott ba sinasabi sa inyo yun? Kasi pinaman muna ninyo yung pwesto nyo. Tingnan nyo kung nasaan na yung mga kasama nyo. Yan ang trabaho mo dyan sa likod. Hindi yung makapagsiksik. Siksikan sa harap. Sabi ko nga kalina, hindi sila ready ulit mag-cover doon and kailangan natin tulungan ng ating spiker. Siyempre, kung paulit-ulit yan nabablock, unti-unti na rin bumababa yung kumpiyansa niyan. So, dapat ready pa rin tayo. Wow, there's no libero on the floor for the lady stags. Both liberos are on the bench right now. Juna Gonzalez gets a point in. Another middle attack for San Sebastian. Maganda rin yung timing ng middle blocker na nila na si Gonzalez. At big, abot na abot yung quick set na yun. Oh, rotation error. Masakit yun. Yes, another momentum killer for San Sebastian. Kaya lumapit na si Coach Roger. <laughs> Umaasim na yung itsura ni <laughs> Coach Roger. <laughs> Yun lang, too strong on that spike para kay Sophie Kagalawan. Sigan with a little help from the net. Free ball, mapupunta sa Lady Stags. Adia, ZJ, Flores, to Abraham, and she gets roof. Good luck by San Sebastian. Good timing by Kat Santos. Three-point lead para sa mga bedista. Mga Sebastino, nagahabol. Molina to Angel. Ooh. Good target. Parang ang dalila. Although that was a very hard point to make. Yes. For Habakon, kasi halos na sa lead niya nai, bumagsak yung bola. Santos avoiding the blockers, and she gets the point for San Sebastian. Oh, 
You see, alam ni Santos na walang libero doon kanina. At yun yung tatargetin niya. Abraham saving it. Successful. Makatan with her entry. Molina, back set. Here's the toss for Santos. Free ball. A very high one. Santos. He hit to. Oh, a rare miss hit for Angel Habakot. Mahabol na ang San Sebastian dito. Okay lang na idiretso mo. Pero okay lang diretso mo rin doon kasi doon ka naman gumi-score kanina pa. Ha? Huwag ka mag-alangan. Pinigyan lang kita ng instruction dito na wala ka na. Pwede ka mo, wala ang problema. Discard mo. Ha? Sige, sige, sige. Go, go, go. I love how Coach Edgar reminding the girls na kung ano yung discard mo, yun yung susundin mo. Kung baga binibigay niya yung tiwala na kung ano yung discarte na gusto mong gawin sa loob ng court. Well, let's see how his players will respond. Kasi nga, naghahabol. Ito mga players ng San Sebastian, down by just two, Abraham. Habakot. Santos! Wow! Another combination play! Gusto ko maglaro itong setter ng San Sebastian. Itang-ita niya kung saan walang sumunod na blocker at doon niya ibibigay sa spiker na yun. Tsaka siya yung backup setter ah. So, baka mas humaba pa yung playing time niya next time if yes. she continues to play like this. Nakita ko na medyo nag-alit si Coach Roger doon. <laughs> Again, kanina pa nila nagiging problem yan. Na wala nag-cover. Good attack from Tan. And we see na another um, good play for the middle spiker. And um, hindi rin talaga nababantayan si Tan. Santos. Santos again. Abraham was there. Molina. Habakon. Santos with the left hand. Not over for Angel. Oh, sayang. Now, we can feel the pressure of the players. Both sides. 22 all. At magkakatalo yan dito sa ating service line. <laughs> Adia, too strong on the serve. Now, tignan natin kung ijo-jump pa ni Angel. Nag-iisip siya kung ijo-jump serve niya. Will she risk it? Sabi nga nila, no risk, no reward. Oh! <laughs> Well, in that occasion, it's high risk, high reward. True. Set point. Para sa Sanbeda. Now, will she risk it again? Yes, she will. She rolls the dice. Santos. Buhay pa, San Sebastian. At Santos, hindi ko mapayag na makuha agad ito ng San Beda. Ngayon naman, 
Let's see kung ito jump ni Kat. Pero ta-time out muna si Coach Edgar Baroga. Kailangan itong instruction ko ayusin nyo para ano, last point to eh. Kapag hindi natin na ito, makakahabol pa sila. Dumulo ka lang ha, dumulo ka lang. Mag-run ka lang ha. Ito ka, uy. It's either pagkadikit yan, iskartian mo. Kung hindi, Angel, dito ka sa gitna. Tatlo spiker mo, pang-apat ka. Be, ha? kaya mo yan, Be. Cover tayo, ha? Cover. Persento ka, persento ka. Receive lang, receive lang. Receive muna, ha? Receive muna, ha? Hey, basag ka na! Hey! Pagsisimula rin talaga sa receive ang unang play na to at kapag nagawa nila yung instruction ni Coach Edgar, makukuha rin nila ang set. I like how Coach Edgar was very specific. At yes. nakatutok siya kay Kat Molina. And I think he wants the play to end up with Angel Habakon going for a spike. Santos oh. rolls the dice and did not get the number that she desired. So, San Beda will take a two sets to none lead and are one set victory away from their first win in NCAA Season 99. Good job sa kanyang pagbabalik sa Olympic stage, si Pinay weightlifter Elrin Ando. Matapos po yan ang matagumpay niyang performance sa women's 59kg event ng 2024 IWF World Cup sa Phuket, Thailand. Nakabuhat siya ng total na 228kg at nakakuha pa ng ikapitong pwesto. Naungusa ng 25-year-old Pinay weightlifter ang kapwa atleta at Tokyo Olympics gold medalist na si Heidi Lynn Diaz sa parehong kategorya. Nakabuhat si Diaz ng total na 222 kilograms. Si Ando ang ikatlong Pinoy weightlifter na nag-qualify sa Paris Olympics. Sa kabuuan, siyam na ang pambato natin sa Olympics na magsisimula sa July. Good job at congratulations sa inyo dyan, Elrin! Good job ang isang Pinay weightlifter na nag-qualify sa 2024 Paris Olympics. Si Rosie Ramos. Nagpapatuloy ang ating live coverage ng NCAA Season 99, New Heroes of the Game. This is our seventh match day here in our tournament and both teams are looking for their first win of the season but it is the Lady Red Spikers who are one set away after taking the first two sets, binibuild up natin kanina, Mika, yung matchup ni Habakon and Santos. And in the end of that set, nakita natin, both of them were at the service line. Si Habakon sumugal siya with the jump serves. Yes. Si Kat Santos sumugal din, pero na-over yung kanyang serve. I think nandun pa rin talaga yung tiwala nila na kapag naipasok ko to, you see yung sabi mo nga kanina na high risk, high reward na kapag napasok nila yung service na to, malamang sa malamang mga sure point to. But then again, yung risk na ginawa nila nag-cause ng isang malaking uh, crucial error, kumbaga. But let's see. Yeah. This set reef, paniguradong babawi yan. I was actually hoping sa totoo lang ha, na naipasok ni Kat Santos yung bola to see if San Beda would execute yung instruction ni Coach Edgar. Mm -mm. Kasi specific yung instruction niya eh. Nakatutok siya kay Kat Molina na this is the play I want you to run. And then he mentioned the name of uh, Habakon. And here, San Beda is dominating the attacking department. And, pero mas marami pa rin talagang blocking, blocks ang lady tags dito at aces. And yung errors, nandyan pa rin talaga yan. Nakakaputol yan ang momentum nila. But let's see kung mababawasan pa nila ito sa next set. Sayang, Mika, no? nakakapakinayang if you're San Sebastian. Because in set number one, zero blocks sila. Yes. Zero blocks, zero aces. Tapos biglang nabuhay. Nagka-anim na blocks and then tatlong service aces. So sayang kasi with those numbers, you should be able to take the set. It's the start of the third set. But as they say in volleyball, you have to have a short-term memory. <laughs> Kailangan mag-move on agad. Past is past, kumbaga. Yeah. Past is past. <laughs> and we are underway in set number three. 
Anton Ross together with Mika Reyes on the broadcast panel for this matchup between San Beda and San Sebastian. And at court side, we also have Lexi Gonzalez. So, si Adia pa rin, yung uh, binababad ni Coach Roger Goreyev. Maganda actually ang pagpapaikot ng bola ni Adia. May variation. And yung pagbibigay niya ng mga quick sets, malaki rin talaga yung nakatulong, lalo na sa set. Santos. In terms of physicality, in terms of power, Kat Santos is really one of our best players in the NCAA. But yun nga, the problem is sometimes the inconsistency and she can't do it alone also. Yes, totoo yan. Santos right now with 12 points in the match to lead San Sebastian. Abraham with 7 points now. Nag step up din tong si ano ah, Kagalawan, Sophie Kagalawan. And not just on offense, we see her dig up that ball also, her back on. Adia Santos. What a cross court attack for Kat Santos. Seeing it here, Santos with the wind up. Challenging the blockers. Kahit na dalawa na yung nasa harap niya, ikaw cross court ko to, sabi ni Kat Santos. Another service error for San Sebastian. That has been a huge problem for them here in this match. Now serving for the Lakers Tigers and the bottom. Adia. Amakatan with an entry and a delivery. Good set. Good spike. Back set. Abraham. With another point. I think isa rin sa mga mahirap lakin na opposite spiker is yung mga lefty. Iba yung angle kasi nila and kaya nilang to market ng super cross court. CJ Deposoy is able to spike that ball with enough power and control for it to drop right in front of the libero. Marasigan. Another service error. Alam ko, when you used to practice with the Lady Spikers of Coach Ramil De Jesus, you really spent a lot of time on the service line. Yes. At isa na ako doon sa mga nag-overtime. Because <laughs> honestly, hindi rin talaga ako yung... Ever since ano, when I was in high school, hindi uh -oh. ako yung um, ma maraming experience na player. Kaya siguro nung college, doon pa lang ako nakagain ng confidence ko. Doon pa lang ako natututo rin talaga sa mga iba't ibang volleyball na situations and... Siguro naman, ano, natuwa sa akin si Coach Romil. And for so many years, kayo talaga yung know muna when it comes to service aces in the league. Siguro mga at least an hour yung training namin for service. Puro ganun na, no? paulit-ulit, repetition. Yes, yes. Eh, yung mga one-man, nami-miss mo ba yun? Ah... Uh, <laughs> Hindi ko siya nami-miss. Naalala ko, nung nanood ako ng practice nyo one time, tapos pinawan man kayo ni Coach Ramil. Talaga? Kailan yan? Long time ago, when you were still playing. Saka bakit 
may audience. But kaya nun doon. Yeah, I, I was there to interview. Eh. I think Tapos, I was doing a story. Tapos nag one man. Talaga? Doon ko lang nakita ang hindi vocal si Abby tsaka si Michelle. <laughs> Kasi sobrang hinihingal na sila eh. In fairness kay coach no na, wala siyang okay lang sa kanya na makita ng ibang tao. Yeah, I think I was the only one there. Ah, okay. I think I was the only one there. Oo, oh, kasi closed door kayo eh. Yes. Very strict si coach Ramil dyan. And I would remember specifically, he would tell me no cameras. Totoo. Tapos sabi ko, until, coach, until coach, ako lang po. <laughs> Chuck, it's just my phone recording you guys. <laughs> Kagalawan. Sophie, kagalawan. Good target for Kagalawan. And San Beda still on top 8 to 6. Lexi will have another report for us sa aming pagbabalik. Good job ang isang Pinay weightlifter na nag-qualify sa 2024 Paris Olympics. Si Rosie Ramos na ang ikapitong pambato ng Pilipinas sa Paris. Nakuha niyang slot matapos manalo sa women's 49kg category sa Olympic Qualifying Tournament ng International Weightlifting Federation sa Phuket, Thailand. Tubong Sambuanga City, ang 20-year-old weightlifter na pin... CAA Season 99 Women's Volleyball San Beda vs. San Sebastian with 11 rookies and a new coach himself. Coach Edgar Baroga did not deny that there is setback having a lot of new players but despite this, he said that he believes in rookie Angel Habakon because he said that he saw her determination and willpower during the preseason and that her energy positively affects the Lady Red Spikers. Pero hindi rin naman nagpapahuli dito si Amakatan. Visible naman na malakas ang advantage ng San Beda because of their middle blockers. Pero ang sagot dito ni Amaka, matatangkad man ang kalaban pero kayang-kaya namin makipagsabayan. We want to see more of this fire as the game closes to an end, Anton and Mika. Yeah, I think um, that's what it boils down to, lalo na. We have a trend eh, in this match. Dikit siya sa simula, nagpo-pull away yung San Beda. And then, nagbago lang nung second set, nakahabol yung San Sebastian. Yes, Anton. Siguro din nakadagdag yung kanilang unforced errors na nakakaputol din talaga ng momentum. That time though, masyadong mataas. Part of the adjustment period ni Kat Molina. Going from open spiker to setter. And ikaw, Mika, you played with a lot of setters who were tall. Yes. So, napakalaking bagay. Malaking bagay talaga siya, lalo na kapag nasa harapan na sila. Kasi bas, hindi basta-basta na binibitawan na din sila ng blocker. Dahil pwede sila mag-drop ball, pwede din silang pumalo. And it's an, another advantage for your team. Santos with a lot of space in between her and the net. But she finds a way to get it through. Out of system na yung play, pero nagawan pa ng paraan ni Santos. And it's a uh, magandang uh, boost para sa San Sebastian. Ooh! Anong pumalo? They were able to tip it over to the San Sebastian side. Abraham. Free ball. Sana. Pero wala po make up. Easy ball na lang siya. Hindi pa nagkaintindihan. Kat, saka si ZJ. Adia. Oh, a long back set. Santos had to lean back. Habakot. Santos. Santos again. Ngayon pa lang actually na kita na nag-down the line 
Pachicat Santos. Yun naman yung bola ni Kat. May spin. Yes. Mahirap din yung pick up. Habakon. Good save. Santos will respond. Picked up by Angel. Habakon down the line. But picked up again. That's good defense by Juna Gonales. Navarro. Yun yung mga gusto ko rin set actually. Yung biglang ibibigay ng setter sa gitna ang bola. Tapos bibilisan mo lang ng drop ball. That's the Mika Reyes play. <laughs> Mahirap kunin yun. <laughs> Pero for me, ano eh, yung signature move mo talaga sa volleyball. Para sa akin lang naman ha, yung single block. <laughs> With, with ano to? <laughs> Alam ko na yung sasabihin mo. <laughs> Just watch the highlights on YouTube, guys. <laughs> Please don't. <laughs> Eleven all. So, at least in this set, dumikit na yung San Sebastian. Ang importante na lang, huwag nila hayaang mag-pull away ulit yung San Beda. Yun din talaga yung pinaka-challenge na hindi nila mismong putulin. Hindi sila mag-commit ng error. Kasi nakaka-execute um, sila ng play, nakaka-defense sila. Pero kapag dating si service line, doon sila nagkaka-error. Narinig ko yung isang teammate niya sabi, sige, sige, sige. Yung tiwala na pinibigay sa'yo ng teammate mo, kung ako yun, papaluin ko talaga yun. <laughs> Sino yung pinaka-vocal na teammate mo na when you hear that person's voice, yung confidence level mo biglang umana? Uh, when I was in college? Yeah, or... yeah, when you were with the Lady Spikers. Or, or even in the pros. Siguro nung college, um, si Don. Uh, siya talaga yung, yung tiyanong mukha ko kanina, siya rin yung una kong naisip. Pero lahat kasi naman ng mga libero, gano'n, yeah. na lagi nagre-remind sa'yo na, ate, dito lang ako sa likod mo, sige, uh, palo ka lang, ikaw cover kita. Uh, uh, And nakakataas rin talaga ng confidence yun, knowing na may nakakover sa'yo na teammate mo. Santos. Back set, Abraham. Hey, Abraham! Abraham, kanina pa siya uh, nagbibigay ng putos para sa San Beda at nahihirapan ang San Sebastian na pigilan. Wow, San Sebastian with a one-point advantage. Amakatan, make that a two-point lead. Parang favorite ko ngayon yung medal spike na yun. Aha. Uh -huh. Kaya pa nagbibigay si Adia sa gitna at ang taas na efficiency makapatay nito. So if they can only get that first ball consistently para makaopensa si Adia, let's see kung magtutuloy ang running attack. How about that? Shane De La Cruz, rookie middle blocker. First time lumamang ng San Sebastian after the 10-point mark in any set. Oh! They could not run the play properly. Shane De La Cruz. Another free ball for San Beda. At na-convert nila agad ito into a point. You see, kanina pa yung mga medal spikers ng both teams nakakapatay. Siguro lang uh, kapag execute sila ng magandang play, ng magandang receive for their medal spikers. Mm. Good luck! May sinasabi sa akin si Anton dito. <laughs> Sabi niya, ganun daw ako mag-block. <laughs> yeah. 
Yung inaabangan mo yung mga back row eh. <laughs> Habakon. So, so at that time, Habakon with a service error. On the third for the ladies, guys. 15 oh, oh. on Ah, Makatan. Oh, and again, that has been the problem for San Sebastian. And because of that, Coach Roger is showing us a delirious look, and San Beda has taken the lead. Good job sa kanyang pagbabalik sa Olympic stage, si Pinay weightlifter Elrin Ando. Matapos po yan, ang matagumpay niyang performance sa women's 59kg event ng 2024 IWF World Cup sa Phuket, Thailand. Nakabuhat siya ng total na 228kg at nakakuha pa ng ikapitong pwesto. Naungusa ng 25-year-old Pinay weightlifter ang kapo at left. Paano mo may explain itong uh, mukha ni Coach Roger ngayon, yung expression niya? <laughs> Para ang dami niya ng facial expressions throughout the game. <laughs> Mamaya, mamimili ako. Nadapitan ko si Coach Roger, sabihin ko, Coach, ito yung itsura mo kanina. <laughs> For you ba, when you were playing against Coach Roger, um, as a player, is there an intimidation factor? Although, syempre, you're playing for a great coach. But Coach Roger is also great in his own right. Meron bang factors sa mga players yon, or you're just focused on the game? Actually, hindi ko masyadong naririnig na nag instruct or sumisigaw si Coach Roger kapag kalaban namin sila. Pero nung nag-pro na ako, pati yung coach, nakikipag-trash talk. Wow! Yes. <laughs> Sabi ko, kasali ba sila dito? <laughs> Natatawa na nga lang ako minsan. <laughs> Gusto ko yung tanong kung sino yung mga yan. Kaya lang, baka hindi ko na ma-interview eh. <laughs> Biglang ayaw naman pa-interview. <laughs> Marasigan. Again, wala ulit na cover Nagtitingin na lang sila sa loob ng court. And makikita natin na unti-unti bumababa yung energy nila. Siguro dahil nga nagkakatingin na lang, walang kumukuha ng bola. So, Mika, after a long period of time on the court, sinab na muna ulit ni Coach Roger si Adia. And Von Di Makulangan, the starting center, is back on the floor. More of kay Kat Santos talaga si Von pumupunta eh, no? Actually, dun siguro siya sa porosyento niyang player. But now, we have three spikers for San Sebastian. Crucial na naman to. Approaching the 25-point mark and we are tied. Abraham. Santos, free ball. Abraham! Combination play for San Beda. Let's check the replay. Ano rin, ano? Itong si Abraham, energy player. Yes. Nakakahawa yung mga ganyan player. Kapag nakita mo yung teammate mo na energetic, na aggressive, Pati ikaw, gusto mo rin na ganun yung energy mo. Of course, top of mind is Abby Maranyo. Truly, the one and only Chang Abby Maranyo. Tsaka si, si Chang, ano rin eh, syempre pag punong-puno yung venue, parang mas lalo siyang bumibeast mode eh. <laughs> Beast mode, don't care. Yes. <laughs> Nakalala ko tuloy hashtag niya. BMBC. BMBC. <laughs> <laughs> Ito yung mga nostalgia moments. Nanaalala ko eh, when I, when I get to interact with you guys, <laughs> bumabalik yung mga memories. 
ganun. Kung tatama, di tumama. Hindi yung nakatingala na ganun yung kamay nyo. Para kayong si Superwoman lilipad. Hindi eh. <laughs> dito sa depensa, magtulong-tulong kayo. Ay nagtuturoan kayo. Palitan nyo na yung pangalan nyo. Arturo 1, Arturo 2. Kasi turo kayo ng turo eh. Si bagay ninyo, wala kayong pakialam kung kukunin yung katabi nyo ko. Hindi ba sa kunin nyo? Yung paano nila kung Ay, magpalit ng mga pangalan nyo eh. Puro kayo si Arturo. Turo na. Coach Roger, nabigyan niyo na ng nicknames ang kanyang mga players. Pero totoo naman, magmula pa nga naman nung unang set pa lang. Kanina pa nagtuturoan, kanina pa nagtitinginan. Coach Roger earned himself another real appearance for sure. <laughs> Kasi kinocompile niya eh, yung mga quotable quotes ni Coach Roger. I know, pinapanood ko siya. Uy! Good luck for Marasigan. Ang San Pedro naman ngayon ang hindi ready for that block. Molina tossing it up. Good timing. Payungan doon si Angel Habakon. Oh! Habakon could not pass the ball properly. So yung si Molina at si Abraham tumuro sa score, 19 all. So it's time to focus. Oh, another poor reception. Nakalamang na ngayon ang San Sebastian. And another time. nagre-receive ka eh. Pag-receive mo, diretso ka lang dito sa tres. Ha? Sa tres ka lang. O, oh, magbibig ka na lang, ano, ah, quick air. Tapos sa dulo ka, ano, ha? Oh. Kaya huwag kang magmadali. I-receive mo muna. Ayusin mo dahil hindi ka nalala. Hindi ka nalala. Coach Edgar Baroga nire-remind ulit ang kanyang girls ng play na pwede nilang gawin for this sequence. So, iba naman ngayon kasi kanina yung last huddle natin in the second set, he was talking about an offensive play. Ngayon naman, defense. Ayun. Finally, a good receive. And it leads to a good play and a spike. Crucial situation here. Erin Navarro, another rookie middle blocker. Di makulangan. Ang makatan. De La Cruz was there. Molina popping it up. Tayat, the team captain to Abraham. De Posoy. Marasigan. Marasigan targeting the cross court. And you see, um, kanina sa last sequence, Hindi masyado nag-abot si Marasigan at si Tan. While Adia, na kailang setter kanina, malaki yung efficiency ng pagpatay ng bola ni Tan. Habakol, drop ball! Kitang-kita mo na, naidadrop niya rin talaga. Alam niya na wala gumalaw sa side ng San Sebastian. Ganda tignan sa replay. Soft drop, sure point. Amakatan, that's not the way you want to hit the ball. Good save though by San Sebastian. Habakon breaks down the wall. Challenging the blockers. Taas din talaga ng kumpiyansa ni Habakon. Sabi niya, papanuin ko to. Kukuha ko ng puntos dito. Ano ba yan si Jay? Papalamang nasanan tayo. Ba't ka nagbitin din ang putsong bola? Anong nasa isip mo? Wala ka naman papaluin eh. Nasa depensa tayo eh. Eh, biruin mo na ka, ano ko lang doon. Oh. Ah. 
Gumalaw-galaw kayo sa likod. Yung quick mo laging mababa. Last game, puro mababa. Ngayon, mababa pa rin. Nakakapalo yung middle natin. Tara, tara, tara! Nahihirapan din talaga siguro si Di Makulangan na magbigay ngayon ng set sa middle. So, it looks like because of what you just mentioned, yes. yung setter na magaling magbigay sa middle, si Adia is back in the game. Si Marga Adia. Kasi yung connection siguro nila ng middle spikers, yung magiging effective talaga para sa laro na to. Adia. Ooh! I told you! <laughs> That's why you're here, Mika Reyes. <laughs> Kanina pa rin kasi hindi mabantayan ng San Beda yung mga spikes ni Tan. Tignan natin kung magpapatuloy yan. Kasi tabla na naman tayo. 22 all. Running attack for De La Cruz. Adia. Wow, KJ, or rather CJ, Desposoy. Desposoy gets the point in. Let's try that again. Adia to CJ Desposoy who breaks down the wall. Gives San Sebastian the lead. Kailangan na kailangan ng San Beda ngayon ng isang puntos, ng one break point para makuha nila ulit yung momentum. And during the first part of that huddle ni Coach Edgar, parang sinasabi niya, Molina and Habakon do the play that they usually do. Yes. So let's see, but they need a good first ball. They get it. At ayan na nga, Angel Habakon. Oh, San Sebastian keeps the ball up. De La Cruz. And San Sebastian keeps the ball up again. Good defense by the Lady Stags. Set point for San Sebastian. Dina Marasigan saving the day. And also, Gonzalez saving the day. Pwede pa to. Oh! Miscommunication. Nagkatinginan sila doon. Tayag and Abraham. Both were iffy on who was going to deliver the ball back to the San Sebastian side. Ayun eh. Nailang si Abraham kasi biglang lumapit si Max Tayag. So, with that error, San Sebastian stays alive. And the chances of Mika Reyes going to a fifth set stays alive as well. We'll be back for set number four. Another good news mga kapuso, pasok na rin po sa 2024 Paris Olympics ang Pinoy weightlifter na si Jan Febuar Seniza. Yan ay matapos siyang magwagi sa qualification tournament na 2024 IWF World Cup sa Thailand. Nakuha ni Seniza ang ikaapat na pwesto sa men's 61kg weightlifting category. Siya ay kawalong dagdag sa pambato ng Pilipinas para sa 2024 Paris Olympics. Una nang nag-qualify sa 49kg weightlifting category si Rosie G. Ramos. Mga kasama nila sa Paris Olympics sila EJ Obiana, Carlos Yulo, Alea Finnegan, Yumir Marshall, Nesty Petesho at Ira Villegas. Good job sa kanyang pagbabalik sa Olympic stage, si Pinay weightlifter Elrin Ando. Matapos po yan ang matagumpay niyang performance sa women's... Buhay pa ang kumunan ni Coach Roger Goreyeb. Alam mo, Mika, parang nagising eh. There, there was one point during the latter portion of that set, nag-iba yung ihip ng hangin. 
the energy and yung determination ng Lady Stags suddenly showed up. Siguro nagbunga yung pag remind ni Coach Roger sa kanyang players na gumalaw sila sa loob ng court. Alam nyo, kahit naman nagbibiru yan si Coach Roger, nandyan pa rin yung, um, pag, uh, con yung concern niya para sa kanyang mga players. Siguro yun lang din talaga yung mga kapag-push na gumalaw ang kanyang mga players. Tsaka yung dulo, di ba? Nakuha na ni Coach Edgar Paroga yung play na gusto niya. Si Molina setting it up for Angel. Mm -hmm na save ng dalawang beses ng San Sebastian. Yun yung yung kagustuhan nila na ipagpatuloy pa rin yung laban. Na hindi sila nagigive up agad-agad para sa isang puntos na yun. And malaking tulong na nagawa yun ng kanilang mga players para makuha ang set 3. So now that they have momentum, tignan natin kung magtutuloy-tuloy yan. And may kita natin kung ano talaga itong San Sebastian, what they're really made of now that they have an opportunity to come back in this game. In the attacking department, mas mataas pa rin talaga ang um, nabigay ng San Sebastian. But then again, wala tayong um, nakuhang masyadong aces ng San Beda. At mas marami namang naserve ang San Sebastian this time. You are hearing the voice of Mika Reyes. Yes, she is an analyst now. Panibagong uh, job description. I'm a newbie here. <laughs> <laughs> it's her rookie debut. Just like the many rookies that we have dito sa NCAA Season 99. Back set, Abraham. Ball is in the air. Santos. Molina. Habakon popped up from the back by Amakatan Santos. Back set, Marasigan from the back row. Single block. Good block by Navarro. Nakaabang siya doon. Nakahit. Back row to. Papwestuhan ko to. At wala namang nakakover ulit sa side ng San Makatan. Oh! Adia. To Santos. My touch. Another crucial move that he did Coach Roger. He was in the Adia late in the third set. Yes, yes. Siguro para makuha ulit yung um, uh, what you call, momentum niya na ire-ready niya rin yung sarili niya. Is that in? Yes, it's in! Good serve by Adia. Nakadalawang crucial error siya last year. What an entry in this match for Marga Adia. Molina. Abraham. Adia. Oh, this is going to be a free ball for San Beda. Molina. De La Cruz! Hindi rin daw papayag si De La Cruz. Good set. Quick attack. Ngayon, nagbibigay na rin sila madalas sa middle spikers nila. Overreceived. Balik ang bola sa set peda. Hapakon. Back set. Molina, good intention, but Lady Stacks were ready. Habakon, buhay pa. Oh, masyado malapit sa net, pero mataas tumalon. Iwan pa rin ng paraan. I want to see that again. You're going to see ang lapit sa net. Ganyan yung mga players na hindi nagre-reklamo kung malapit, kung tight yung set, at gagawan pa rin nila ng paraan ito. Malaking tulong yun para sa kanilang set. Tsaka ano eh, pag ganun kalapit sa net, di ba, pwede nang kuhaan ng uh, middle blocker ng kabila eh. Yes, yes. Kung baga medyo delikado na rin yun, kasi ang hirap naman habulin kung malapit na sa net, baka magkatakawan pa. Pero, 
maganda pa rin kung nag-a-adjust tayo sa mga ganong situation. So props to Tina Marasigan for being proactive. Abakon, popped up by Santos. Oh! Overreaching! Ever since, hindi ko nagiging effective yung cut shot na ganun. Kasi lagi nakaabang yung outside spiker nila. Lagi nababasa ni Kat Santos. So now, San Sebastian, I was just going to say yung momentum na sa kanila. <laughs> Umihiling na si Coach Roger. Yan yung sakit nila eh, yung service errors. Yes. Just imagine how different this match would be pag hindi sila nakokomit ng service errors. Oh, again, another set over dangerously close to the net. Umahabol na ang sandeta. Kabakon. Regalo para kay Dela Cruz. For us middle blockers, dapat ready ka rin talaga na kapag alam mo hard server yung teammate mo, ready ka sa mga uh, mabilis na balik ng bola. Jay Dela Cruz has really earned her minutes here for San Beda. And here she is again. A little bit late. Couldn't get the right angle. At nagawa na naman ang paraan ni Tina Marasigan na makapuntos dito. You see si Adia, opposite setting din talaga yung napapansin kung gustong-gusto niya ginagawa para siguro maiwanan yung middle blocker ng San Beda. Taya. That's gotta feel good for the captain who has been sparingly used in this match by Coach Edgar Baroga. Medyo malambot yung pasok ng kamay ng blockers ng San Sebastian. At hindi ready. Six all. De Pozoy, Marasigan, Molina, Tayag. Two straight points for the San Beda captain. What a spike for Tayag. Max Tayag, last season averaging 5.9 points per match. This season, di masyadong gamit, but who knows? With this type of activity, baka bumalik yung playing time niya under coach Edgar Baroga. Tayag. A third straight attempt. Deposoy down the line. Deposoy. Ina pa siya to ma target dito sa cross court this time sa down the line naman and sure point. Seven all. Molina. Tayak again. May check ball ba? Wala. Tayag asking for a check ball. Not called by our referee. And when we come back, Lexi Gonzalez will hear from her again with the courtside update. Bigong makapasok sa 2024 Paris Olympics si Tokyo Olympic gold medalist at Pinay weightlifter na si Haideline Diaz. Hindi nakamit ni Diaz ang kailangan puntos sa 59kg weightlifting category sa qualification rounds ng 2024 IWF World Cup. Dagdag naman sa listahan ng pambato ng Pilipinas para sa Paris Olympics ang Pinay weightlifter. Here at the NCAA Season 99 Women's Volleyball, mas umiinit ang laban ng San Sebastian versus San Beda. Pero sa panig ng San Sebastian, may player na maladiesel sa loob ng court, si Kat Santos, na habang tumatagal ay eh, mas umiinit ang laban niya. 
nga naman, palabi, sabi nga niya, kanina nung makausap ko siya, palabiro man si Coach Roger. Pero sa lahat ng sasabihin nito ay iisa lang naman ang goal nila, kundi ang makapag-focus at manalo sa laban. Sa panig naman ng Sanbeda, hindi lang focus, kundi patagalan ang goal nila. Dahil sa dugout pa lang kanina, ayaw niya na mapagod sa warm-up, kundi muscle memory ang gusto ni Coach Edgar na i-master ng kanyang koponan. Malalaman natin sino ang mas matibay na abot sa dulo, Anton and Mika. I agree with Lexi na si Kat Santos, habang tumatagal, mas lalo siyang gumagaling. Tingin ko pag nag-five sets to. <laughs> <laughs> oh, ikaw na nagsabi na, ha? <laughs> <laughs> Tingin ko pag nag-five sets to si Kat Santos, mas lalo siyang gaganahan. Tsaka si Kat, ano yan eh, sana yan sa mahabang laro. Being that she also played beach volleyball, Yes, yeah, sa beach volleyball, yes. walang palitan yan. So she's used to having to play heavy minutes under different kinds of conditions. And it, she's used to it. You mentioned nga kanina na parang siya ang Gretchel Soltones ng San Sebastian ngayon. But you see, may sarili siya ang approach. Uh -oh. Uniquely na iba yung dating niya sa loob ng court. Yeah, it, Imagine in her rookie year, Santos was already the leading scorer of the NCAA in the elimination round. Kaya lang ng second year, bumaba yung scoring niya. So we're all expecting na in the third year na siya, she'll be once again in top form. Sabi ko nga kanina, di ba, yung mga rookies din natin ngayon, iba na rin yung performance. Parang hindi na rookies maglaro. Kayang-kaya na sumabay sa kanilang mga seniors. Just like the Posoy and Habakon. Max Tayag, too strong. Mahaba rin talaga yung target ni Tayag. Nagahanap siya ng kamay para ipacheck. But that was too strong. Tina. Oh! Navarro gets that one in. Nakita ko yung intensity ni Navarro doon. Gustong-gusto niyo talaga mga puntos. And you see, isa lang din yung blocker niya. Hindi pa naka-establish yung blocker. Alam mo, Mika, I'm also starting to see na si Kat Molina, who I have been mentioning, the open spiker last season, she's starting to embrace this new role as a setter. Actually, hindi nga halata na bago siya sa posisyon na to. Last year, she was a rookie. Led San Beda in scoring as a rookie. 9.6 points per match. So now, sophomore pa lang. Big adjustment as the primary playmaker ni Coach Edgar. And here she is, Molina, setting up Habakon. Targeting the cross court. Hindi prepared ang San Sebastian dito. Erin Navarro. Sabi ni De Posoy, ako na. Santos, cross court. Habakon, pushing it to the other side. Santos, drop ball. Habakon. The Posoy popping it up para Sigan. Abraham. Adia was there. Santos! What a great spike for Santos. Targeting the hands of the blocker. Mas madali nga naman, kumbaga na ipacheck ball na lang kesa isugal mo na targetin ang cross court na pwede pang maiangat. Adia, Molina, Habakot, Adia, Santos! Ginawa ng paraan ni Santos. I love how she's adjusting to every set. 
na kahit hindi perfect yung set, gagawa niya agad ng paraan, makapuntos man o hindi. Swak yung report ni Lexi ah, di siya. Kapag <laughs> tumatagal, mas, mas kumiinit, mas kumagaling, mas nabubuhay itong si Kat Santos. Oh. Uh, we did not catch what the conversation was about between our first referee and Amakatan, captain of San Sebastian, but play resumes. Yun lang. Kanina pa nagsistruggle si Adia sa service line. Nakahit nakakuha siya ng isang ace. Yung kapalit naman ito, another error ulit. Adia. Santos. That was outside. So yun yung nakakapaginayang na error, no? Kasi nakuha na ni Kat yung elevation. Mm -mm. Walang sumabay. Hindi niya nabaon. Nagahanap. Nagahanap din siguro ulit siya na kamay ng blocker para mapacheck ito. Gonzalez. Also one of uh, San Sebastian's beach volleyball players. Sila dalawa ni Diba Kulangan as Castillo. Who has played sparingly in this match. Nakita na natin ngayon na nag -e enjoy and nag -e celebrate na ang San Sebastian. Maybe getting their groove back. Castillo also has uh, played sparingly here for San Beda. As we see, Molina, you can see, yung, yung form niya, gugod pa rin eh. And we have China Castillo. Castillo trying to get that quick fight. Si Castillo had 11 points in the previous match of San Beda, pero sa laro na to, used sparingly by Coach Edgar. Another ace for San Beda. Nagsisimula na ulit na mag-strong ball ang reception ng San Sebastian. Back set. Pinatama na lang ni Tina sa kamay ng mga blockers. Kaya naman, naman ang San Sebastian as we head to this technical timeout. Good job sa kanyang pagbabalik sa Olympic stage, si Pinay weightlifter Elrin Ando. Matapos po yan ang matagumpay niyang performance sa women's 59kg event ng 2024 IWF World Cup sa Phuket, Thailand. Nakabuhat siya ng total na 228kg at nakakuha pa ng ikapitong pwesto. Naungusa ng 25-year-old Pinay weightlifter ang kapwa-atleta at Tokyo Olympics gold medalist na si Heidi Lindia sa parehong kategorya. Nakabuhat... One point lead for San Sebastian. So, para sa Mika, what has San Sebastian done right in the last two sets? At may chance sila to force this one into a deciding fifth set. I think Kath Santos has been um, leading her team. Siguro kapag nakikita ng teammates niya na bumapwersa siya na gustong-gusto niyang makapunto sa dadala niya yung mga teammates niya and nung bumalik rin naman si Adia sa loob ng court napapaikot niya ng maayos ang kanya mga spikers nakapunto yung middle blockers siya nakakuha ng blocker ay uh, nakakuha ng isang blocker para mag single block ang kanya mga outside spikers yung Kat Santos expected yan eh pero yung Adia 
This is something new. Yes. Talaga nga, nag-decide na si Coach Roger na mas maganda yung distribution and yung mm -hmm. pag-activate sa middles. Kaya tumagal sa court si Adia. And ang laking factor din talaga na kapag nakukuha ng middle spikers mo, yung middle blocker ng kabila, dahil lagi yung single block na yung mga wing spikers. And now Coach Edgar calls a timeout. Kapos kayo, hindi ba pwede yung ganun? Kaya-kaya niyo, ibalik ang bola. Natataranta ko ano ang ginagawa niyo sa loob ng court. Ibalik niyo yung kanina. Hindi ba pwede yung iba natakbo ng utak niyo ngayon? Ha? Yung kilos niyo. Yung kilos niyo, yung normal lang. Okay? Okay, let's go, let's go, let's go. Yun din naman talaga yung crucial na kapag napansin na ng coach na nag-iiba na yung galaw ng kanyang players, kailangan niya na agad gisingin to na bumalik kung ano yung una nilang ginagawa, lalo na nung first set. And nagkaroon na rin ng konting frustration sa tono ng boses ni Coach Edgar. <laughs> Because, Medyo hindi na siya kalmado. Oo, kasi nag-feel na niya na nag-ahabol na itong San Sebastian and the momentum is on the side of the lady stacks. Molina. Ang adjustment naman ni Coach Edgar, si Max Tayag. Bringing in Max Tayag. And she has been contributing para sa San Beda. Now, if only Castillo can come alive para dito sa San Beda. Parang siya yung nagiging missing piece ngayon eh. Good set again for Amakatan. Tiwala na binibigay ni Adia. Targeting that long crossword. Believe din kita ako kay Amakatan na pagdating sa likod, pinirisig siya. Yeah. Iyon yung gusto ko sanang gawin. Score is 27-17. 20 serving 17. San Sebastian trying to force a deciding fifth set. San Beda wants to end it here. Another quick attack. Yun din yung pambato nila again. Yung middle blockers ng both teams. Harap silang pigilan ng isa't isa. Basta makakuha lang ng isang magandang first ball. Ibibigay na yan ang kanilang setters. Nakikita ko sa mga mata ni Kat at Tina, they're, they're focused on this. They, they want this set. ZJ. Amakatan. Lumosoy. CJ Deposoy with a little help from the net. Kahit nagkagulo na sa second ball, nagawan pa rin ang paraan. San Sebastian, four points away from a deciding fifth set. Again, hindi pa po tayo nag nakapunta sa fifth set in the women's tournament this season. <laughs> Good luck! Gusto reaction ni Adia Let's see, it's a replay. <laughs> Good timing for Gonzalez. Proud na proud siya sa teammates niya. She has been the game changer for San Sebastian here. Abakon. De Posoy. Santos! Good attempt though. Na kahit before na hindi nila na kukuha, nagkakatingin na sila. But this time, nag-attempt. Pero walang kumuha ng second ball. Ayaw pang bitawan ng San Beda to. Navarro. 
Abia goes to the middle. Abraham. Wow. And again, San Sebastian showing that they don't want to quit. Excellent floor defense. Gonzalez. Tayan. Free ball na naman. Kanino si Adia pupunta? Gonzalez! Good set by Adia. Ginahanap talaga ng setter ng San Sebastian si Gonzalez. And the rookie, Juna Gonzalez, puts it away. Four point lead for San Sebastian. Okay, go ka naman kumalo sa area mo. Mag be quick kasi pa ganyan lang sa blocking. Sa sibilan tayo. Tulo lang tayo. Cover nyo lahat ng palo. I cover nyo. Hey, 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 hey. Anton, nakikita natin ngayon si Marasiga na sinestretch. Yeah, she appears to be cramping up. Unfortunate situation here. So, magpapahinga muna si Tina Marasigan. That calf muscle, Mika, is is so tight. It, it looks very tight right now. Yes. At hirap na rin siyang maglakad, actually. And, and because of that, hindi na nakapag-usap si na Coach Roger during that huddle. Let's see how they will respond. KJ Janisho coming in. For Tina Marasika and Habakon trying to take advantage. The intensity of Habakon. Sabi niya, hindi pa tapos yung set. Back set, Santos. Molina to Habakon. Santos keeps it alive. Adia to Kat. And San Bella cannot send it back. San Sebastian. Good Santos. Good effort though for San Beda. Sinubukan talaga nilang isiib yung bola na yun, but hindi na nabutan ng libero. My goodness, San Sebastian at set point. Another service error. Coach Roger Goreyev. Contemplating. Hoping <laughs> that his team can stay alive and force a deciding fifth set. Marasigan trying to stretch out that calf muscle. Will this be it? Adia. Junisho! KJ Junisho! A well rested KJ Junisho! Returns to the game and sends San Sebastian to a deciding fifth set. In favor of the San Sebastian College, In the debut, commentary debut of Mika Reyes. We'll see you for set number five. Good job ang isang Pinay weightlifter na nag-qualify sa 2024 Paris Olympics. Si Rosie Ramos na ang ikapitong pambata ng Pilipinas sa Paris. Nakuha niyang slot matapos manalo sa women's 49kg category sa Olympic Qualifying Tournament ng International Weightlifting Federation sa Phuket, Thailand. Tubong sa Buanga City, ang 20-year-old weightlifter na pinsan ng Olympic gold medalist na si Heidi Lynn Diaz. Makakasama niyang lalaban para sa Pilipinas sa Paris Olympics sina E.J. Obiena, Carlos Yulo, Alea Finnegan, Yumir Marshall, Nesty Petesho at Ira Villegas. Bagong WBC World Minimum Weight Champion si Pinoy Boxer Melvin Jerusalem matapos po ang kanyang laban sa Nagoya, Japan. Sa loob ng 12 rounds, ilang beses napatumba ni Melvin ang Japanese boxer na si 
Yudai Shigyoka. Sa dulo, naku... Yes, about analysts who debut, but every time an analyst debuts, it seems that we welcome the analyst with a full match. So welcome to this side of the volleyball court, Miss Mika Reyes. Magandang pa welcome sa akin to Anton, ha? Apparently, hindi ko rin naman talaga in-expect to. So how are you enjoying the new role so far? Actually, maganda yung laro ngayon. Na nag-e-enjoy lang ako kat kasama ka. Appreciate <laughs> maganda, it. Maganda, maganda ang laban ngayon. And makikita natin, very competitive yung both teams eh. Mm -hmm. And that's the most exciting part eh. Ano? You're at a different side. And then both teams ayaw sumuko. And now we're going to a deciding fifth set. Tina Marsigan stretching herself. So in a fifth set, Mika, with all your experience in the game of volleyball, what does it boil down to? San usually nagkakatalo yan in, in terms of winning the match in a deciding fifth set? Yung puso, Anton. I think yun na rin talaga yung kailangan mong paghugutan. Kasi yung skills nandiyan na yan eh. Kaya nga kayo parehong mabot sa fifth set. Yung puso, yung kapit na ibibigay mo sa team mo. Doon na rin talaga tayo pakapit. And for the statistics, sa set 4, hindi naman nagkakalayo ang attacks ng San Beda and San Sebastian, but pareho rin silang nakaka-block. They both have two blocks, but mas marami rin ang aces ng Lady Stags last set. But then again, yung errors nandyan pa din. Hopefully, this set 5 mabawasan ng both teams. So, Kung ikokompile natin lahat ng errors ng San Sebastian, it's 25. So, nagbigay sila ng isang buong set. Isang buong set. <laughs> oh, wow. Pag si Coach Ramil yan, ako, balik ensayo. Totoo. <laughs> Totoo yan. <laughs> Pagkatapos ng game. Anyway. Imagine ko na yung itsura ni Coach Roger pag lalaman niya lahat na. In total, ng talilang errors. Once again, maraming salamat sa inyong panonood. Anton Rojas on the panel alongside Mika Reyes. And at courtside, we have Lexi Gonzalez working very hard to get the information from both coaches and players of the competing teams. So you said it boils down to the heart, yung puso ng mga players. Another error for Adia. Alam mo, kapag sa mga ganyang situation, pag wala akong naipapasok na service, ang iniisip ko na lang, lalo na kapag oh, set, ipapasok ko lang to sa gitna. Tatargetin ko lang yung gitna. Kahit gano'n pa kalobo yung service ko, basta maipasok ko lang. Kasi nakikita ko na yung, yung side eye ng coach ko kapag gano'n. Eh. <laughs> Kat Santos gets the point in for San Sebastian. All right, let's uh, get this update from Lexi Gonzalez at courtside. Para kay Angel Habakon, teamwork makes the dream work. Dahil sabi niya, dalawa raw sa winner count ng kanilang kupunan is to try and act as a family and to gel their connection inside the court. Truly, obviously, a family that plays together wins together. Pero iba naman ang powers na taglay ng San Sebastian. Dahil may pagka predict the future si Coach Roger. The catch lang is his players has to continue to listen and maintain momentum. And for Tina Marasigan, she's now uh, having cramps on her right thigh, according to Coach Roger. If she can come back to the court, is currently undetermined. That's all. That's all from here on the court side, Anton and Mika. And I know, Lexi, how hard you had to work to get those words out of Coach Roger Gorev. So good job to you. Gusto ko yung sabi ni Coach Roger na nakikita niya yung future. <laughs> Nababasa. Nakikita ni Coach. So, kanina nakita natin yung teammates mismo ni Tina, yung uh, bumabalot, nag-wrap sa kanyang thigh. Yes. The intensity of San Beda. Gustong gusto. Kitang-kita mo nang gustong gusto nila makuha yung set na to. Bumalik eh, no? yung intensity. Sayang naman eh. They already built up a two sets to none lead. Yes. Kung uh, bitawan pa nila ito, sobrang sakit niyan. Challenge din sa kanila to na makuha ulit 
yung momentum nila, especially sa deciding set na to. That was the strongest fight that I've seen from Kat Santos today. If I'm not mistaken, pang 23rd point na. Wow. Ni Kat Santos yun. My goodness. Double digits. Marasigan, Tan, Deposoy, and Gonzalez. And if she is... If that is truly her 23rd point, as we see Habakon answer with a powerful spike of her own, Kat Santos has the most points now in terms of single match scoring. Because previously, si Tina Marasigan has 21 points. So, na exceed na ni Kat Santos yun. Abraham Santos with a pass. Not the best one, but Adia able to make a play. Santos! Pinush na lang niya eh. Hindi niya na... Wala na siyang balak paluin, pero nakakuha pa rin siya ng puntos. What a play by Kat Santos. Molina. Habakon. It is a spike fest between Habakon and Santos. Sinang dalawa yung nagpapalitan ng puntos dito. I know. Yung intensity talaga ni Habakon. I love it. Yep. Oh! Yun lang. Service error straight to the net for Angel Habakon. And Mika, it looks like Tina Marasigan is trying to return to the game. So, nakaturo si Coach Rogers a score. Pero nakaredy na bumalik si Tina. Cross-court attack for Tayag. Targeting Amakatan. Hindi masyadong nakahabol yung middle blocker ng San Sebastian doon. That's why lumusot sa cross court. Jade De La Cruz, solid outing for her today as a rookie. Gonzalez. Kitang kita mo na talaga na ibibigay niya ulit sa medal blocker. But yung adjustment ng San Beda, hindi ko pa masyadong nakikita na yung double block nila yung medal. Another rookie who has really played well today, ZJ Deposoy for San Sebastian. Ooh! Almost! Getting a lucky break. Walang gumalaw sa side ng San Sebastian. Nagtuturoan ulit sila, nagtitinginan. So now they switch sides. This has been our most competitive match in NCAA Season 99. Prior to this, we have not seen a five-setter in women's volleyball. We've had three four-setters. The rest were all straight sets wins. And this is match number 12 for the season. Whether it's Mika Reyes' fault or not, kayo na lang mag-decide. Pero feeling ko ganun talaga eh, yung volleyball gods. Mag-welcome ng bagong player. Kat Santos breaks down the wall. I think yung San Beda, hindi sila masyadong naka-establish sa blocking. Nakataas lang yung hands nila. And you see, kapag nakataas lang yung hands ko, for sure, papasok na yun sa loob ng bed. Marga Adia stepping up today para kay Coach Roger Goreyeb. Abraham. The wind-up. Solid. Power behind that ball. San Beda with a two-point lead. The enjoyment of San Beda. On deck serve for San Beda. Max Marasigan is back. Ito yung puso na sinasabi mo, Mika. Maski 
Maski injured, maski nakaramdam na ng cramps. Ilalaban niya. Ilalaban niya. Napahinto ako sa sinasabi ko dahil dumiretso sa akin yung bola. <laughs> Ikaw na daw ang mag-receive. <laughs> Yun lang! Another service error. Lumakas pila yung mga tambol ng San Beda, ah. <laughs> Ganun na, di ko ma-feel yan. <laughs> 10 to 8 ang ating talaan. Adia. Marasigan. Abraham! 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 Yung swing niya, yung approach niya, alam mo, sure point na eh. Na kahit dalawa yung blockers niya, nagawa niya pa ng point. Kaliwete yun, uulitin ko ha, kaliwete. Huwag niyong abangan yung kanang kamay. Kunin niyo yung knees niya dito, o. Oh. Tapatan niyo yung kaliwa niya, huwag yung kanan. Pagka tumap, dumaan yung bola, kayong mga nasa likod, abangan niyo yung lilipat na bola. Tulad kanina, na-check doon. Anong ginawa mo? Nakatayo ka lang doon. Tataas, titigil ba yung bola para kabulong mo? Ngayon yung San Sebastian kailangan talaga mag-double effort sa defense sa likod. Sabi nga ni Coach Roger, nakatayo lang sila, walang nakaabang sa check ball, walang nag-a-attempt. No more quotable quotes. <laughs> Just all seriousness and urgency para kay Coach Roger Goreyev. Let's see if his players will respond. Adia, kanina siya pupunta. Back set to Marasigan. And she gets roof! Good luck for Habakon. Yung elevation ni Habakon sa pag-block na yun. Payong na payong. Na kahit naiwanan na si De La Cruz, saktong-sakto pa rin sa kanya. As Mika Reyes said earlier today, blocking is all about timing. True. <laughs> Habakon single block there. Ayan na, si Kat Santos. Siya ang kailangan dito. Combination play by Kat Santos. You see, Kat, sana kanina pa rin nila ginagawa yan. Nung una pa lang. Kasi kapag papalo sa tres si Kat Santos, halos sure point na eh. Santos with a jump serve, putting pressure on the receivers of San Beda. And Habakon with a response, cross-court kill. <laughs> and the very happy coach Edgar Baroga smiling. All ears. Yona. Grabe yung daga sa dibdib mo. Dapat Dora inumin mo wag vitamins para mamatay yung daga sa dibdib mo. Wala yan niya. Wala naman tayo ipapalit dyan. Wala naman tayo ipapalit dyan. Wala naman tayo ipapalit dyan. Pagka may isip, bigay mo sa mga bigay sa kuya. Ayan na. May quotable quotes na. Sabi sa'yo, mas effective yun kay Coach Roger. Well, I don't, I don't want to follow up just sa sinabi ni Coach Roger. Let's just see. <laughs> Kung ano magiging effect sa kanya mga players. Here we go. Abraham. Adia. Tutan. Good set. Good spike by Amakatan. Sabi nga ni Coach Roger, ibigay mo nang ibigay. Lalo na kapag may pasa. Single block. One of the best hits ni Amakatan in this match. Yes. Now Marasigan, cramping up and all at the service line. Habakon! Something is a match point! Wow! Angel Habakon! This rookie is heaven sent. She is in her element. Could she be the moment here for San Bella? Tayag! 
gets the win. Good win for San Beda. Ladies and gentlemen, our final four. 25, Celebrating 25, 25, the first 25, win 25, 25, 25. under new coach Edgar Baroga. And the first win for the 11 new players who are making their NCAA debut here in season 99. What a match, what a finish, well-deserved victory for the Sun Beda Lady Red Spikers. And now we listen to the alma mater hymns of both schools. Was our first five set match here in NCAA season 99 official set scoring 25 17 25 23 22 25 21 25 and 15 10 in favor of the Sunbury University Lady Red Spikers at sa aming pagbabalik makausap namin ni Mika Reyes ang winning head coach winning his first game as the new head coach of San Beda, Coach Edgar Baroga. Don't go away. This is our post-match coverage happening after the break right here on GTV. Bigong makapasok sa 2024 Paris Olympics si Tokyo Olympic gold medalist at Pinay weightlifter na si Haideline Diaz. Hindi nakamit ni Diaz ang kailangang puntos sa 59kg weightlifting category sa qualification rounds ng 2024 IWF World Cup. Dagdag naman sa listahan ng pambato ng Pilipinas para sa Paris Olympics ang Pinay weightlifter na si Elrin Ando. 
pinataob ni Ando si Diaz sa parehong weight category. Si Ando na ay kasyam na Pilipino na lalaban para sa Paris Olympics. Back-to-back -back champion ang Letran Squire sa NCAA Juniors Basketball Tournament. Tinalo nila ang Perpetual Junior Altas sa Game 3 ng Season 99 Finals nitong Sabado. Sa buong game, nang nanguna ang Squires at hindi pinahabol ang Altas. Umabot pa sa 16 points ang lamang. Final score, 93-76. Nakuha ni Jonathan Manalili ng Squires ang Finals. Finals Most Valuable Player Award. Nag-average po siya ng 22 points, 5 rebounds at 7.7 assists sa buong series. Another good news mga kapuso, pasok na rin po sa 2024 Paris Olympics ang Pinoy weightlifter na si Jan Februar Seniza. Yan ay matapos siyang mag sa qualification tournament na 2024 IWF World Cup sa Thailand. Nakuha ni Seniza ang ikaapat na pwesto sa men's 61kg weightlifting category. Siya ay kawalong dagdag sa pambato ng Pilipinas para sa 2024 Paris Olympics. Una nang nag-qualify sa 49kg weightlifting category si Rosie G. Ramos. Mga kasama nila sa Paris Olympics sila EJ Obiana, Carlos Yulo, Alea Finegan, Yumir Marshall, Nes... So, kakatapos lamang po ng ating ikalabing dalawang match dito sa ating bagong torneo, ang NCAA Season 99. And for the first time, we went to a deciding fifth set kung saan nagtagumpay ang San Bera University Lady Red Spikers. Maraming salamat sa inyong panonood mga kapuso. And now, Mika Reyes and I are standing alongside a man we have to congratulate. He was all smiles after the hard-fought five-set victory. Coach Edgar Baroga, congratulations. Kamusta ang pakinamdam? You got your first win as the new head coach of San Beda. Yes, of course. Uh, medyo kinabahan ako ng huli kasi akala ko easy win na. Pero medyo bumalik yung, <laughs> ano, yung sila Coach Roger. So medyo kinabahan ako. But uh, yun nga, sinabi ko sa mga bata, kung sino yung matapang dito, siya yung uh, mananalo. <clears throat> Sabi niyo nga lang, kung sino yung matapang, sino ang mat mananalo dito? Sino yung sa team niyo ang tingin niyo pinakamatapang this week? Uy, actually si Habakon matapang yan eh. Hmm. Kaso lang pagdating ng uh, huli, uh, kapag ka medyo crucial, nadadala siya ng mga kasama niya. Minsan kasi, kapag ka siya nadala ng kasama niya, bumibigay na rin yan. Yes. Kaya, pero pag nadala niya yung mga kasama niya, buhay lahat yan. So, hanggang sa huli, pagka nakita, um, meron kami senyasa niyan eh. Kapag si Menyas ako sa kanya, babalik na yung lakas ng loob niya. <laughs> Coach, I want to ask you about uh, Kat Molina. Last season, she uh, was San Beda's leading scorer. Open spiker siya. Paano ka nag-decide na you would convert her as a setter? And for you, where is she at in terms of yung comfort level niya sa pagiging setter? Well, kasi ang nangyari dyan, meron akong legitimate setter talaga. Okay. Eh, unfortunately, nagkaroon siya ng ACL. Ah. So, wala ako naging uh, dahilan. Nagpa-tryout ako. Nakita ko na medyo maganda yung ano, niya, pitik niya. Okay. So, sabi ko wala akong choice. So, kinonvert ko siya. Kasi nakita ko ang kagandahan ng Mika. Alam mo naman yun, pagka setter, kailangan malakas bugla. So, yun. Uh, Pinagtsagaan ko, uh, nakita ko naman yung bata willing to learn. So, ayun, uh, parang nga hindi, ano eh, parang nga hindi converted Totoo. din. Yun nga yung sabi ni Mika yes. kanina. Yeah, yeah. Saka yun, medyo, uh, like, kailangan sabihan mo pa siya kung kailan siya magbadrop, kailan mm -hmm. siya mag-one-two. But, uh, ang ganda ng uh, pinakita niya ngayon actually. And knowing Coach Edgar naman, matyaga rin talaga magturo yes. si Coach. <laughs> matyaga rin magturo, lalo na sa practice. Coach, ano naman po kaya yung mga babalikan nyo sa practice? Especially sa nangyari ngayong game. Well, ang sabi ko sa kanila lagi, uh, alam mo naman yan, nung pandemic, nag-training tayo, yes. di ba? Na-condition sila may kanon panahon na yun. Uh, uh, ano eh, na sinasabi sa kanila yung tiyaga, tatalunin natin ang, ano, ang galing ng isang yes. malalaro. Kapag matiyaga at na, nagiging ano tayo, willing to learn. So, yun, yun yung ano, yun yung uh, naging ano namin, naging... Uh, key namin, uh, hopefully, tuloy-tuloy uh, kasi lalo ngayon, nanalo, siguro magiging ano pa yan, magiging uh, 
uh, mas maganda pa yung kanilang ano, kanilang uh, magiging practice. Coach, ang ganda ng moment nyo with Angel. When Angel got the spike, nag-time out si Coach Roger, lumapit siya sa'yo, two points away, all smiles na kayo. Now you got the victory. I'm sure maraming nanunood ngayon who's supporting you throughout the season. Ba gusto mo sila batiin? Oh yeah, of course. Uh, kasi alam naman natin na uh, ngayon pa lang kami nakatikim ng panalo. So, uh, continue to ano to support the, the, the our team, some the community, alumni. Uh, sana lagi kayo nandiyan, Marinera, uh, continue to ano to to bless our team. And of course, sa lahat ng mga naniniwala sa San Beda, uh, pipilitin pa rin namin magkaroon ng pagkakataong manalo at pagtiyagaan pa rin namin. Maraming maraming salamat sa suporta niyo. Binabati ko yung nanay ko na nanonood ngayon. And of course, yung wife ko, si Tita Mayra. Hi, Tita. <laughs> si Kyra, ano masasabi mo, Coach? Laging nasa likod ng bench mo. <laughs> Lucky charm ba? Actually, kaya sabi niya, ayaw niyang mag-ano eh, mag mag-analyze pagka kami yung ano. <laughs> kasi kinakabahan siya. Sa kamisan kasi nagtuturo yan ng blackings doon. Ah, kaya sabi niya, okay. oh, kaya yun, tuwan-tuwa yun kasi maganda yung blackings namin ngayon. Alright. Coach Edgar, enjoy this one. We'll see you again yes, in the yes, succeeding yes. games. Thank you, thank you. Coach thank Edgar you. Baroga, head coach of the Sun Beda Lady Red Spikers. Ngayon naman, punta natin si Lexi na kasama si Angel Habakon. Ngayon, kasama ko dito si Angel Habakon ng ating player of the game number one. Nangunguna, kamusta ka naman? Okay lang po. And I feel so happy right now kasi first win ko to sa NCAA po. And sobrang emotional kasi five setter pa, sobrang thrilling and um, nawala yung lahat ng pagod, lahat ng kaba, lahat ng fear, napalitan ng happiness. Well, curious din ang ating panel, may mga questions para sa'yo si Anton and Mika. Oh, well, dahil nga kulang tayo sa oras, well, congratulations sa'yo, Angel. Baka may gusto kong batihan, yung family, relatives... Um, binabati ko po yung papa ko na nandun all the way from Bislig City, Surigao del Sur na pumunta talaga dito para makanood lang po ng, ng game ko. And sa pamilya ko dyan na nanonood, syempre, supportado po ako. Sila Mama Dailin, sila Papa Dodo, sila Mama Iting, Papa Junjun. And Habakon Family, Quaton Family, Calvaris Family. Hi po, and to all Bistiganons, hi po. And to the, San, to the San Beda community, thank you po sa walang sawang pagsuporta at sa... Marinerang Pilipina po na grabe yung support sa amin. Wala, wala kami ngayon kung wala kayo pong nakasuporta sa amin. Maraming salamat po. Tsaka ka Tito Butch po. Hi po Tito Butch. Yan. Congratulations Angel Abacon and of course San Beda. Ito po ang NCAA Season 99 Women's Volleyball. See you next time. Thank you very much Lexi. You know, this young lady, Angel Habakon, is special. Sinabi mo nga, Sid Demesilio. Para sa akin, yes. parang pinaghalo na ano eh, Ara at uh, Sid Demesilio eh. Totoo. Both sides, you know, defense, offense, mautak. And, and hindi pa rin siya ganun katangkaran, pero yes. kita kita may elevation oh. niya, yung approach niya, super taas. Mika, I'm sure this puts a smile on your face. 12 blocks para sa San Beda. <laughs> yes, sabi nga ni uh, Coach Edgar kanina, yung pagtatsaga nila sa training, nagbunga. And for sure, Yung blocking department talaga yung pinagtusa nila ng pansin ngayon dahil uh, alam naman natin na ang ladies tags, malalakas yan na uh, umatake. Kaya kung kaya nilang kunin sa net pa lang, kung kaya nilang makuha ng puntos sa net pa lang, gagawin na nila. Sabi nga ng mga coaches, nagbiru sila kanina, championship match ito and it did feel like a championship match sapagkat umabot nga ng limang sets ang ating laro. Again, congratulations to San Beda. San Sebastian will go back to the drawing board and we hope Tina Marasigan will recover kasi yes, of course. naging crucial yung cramps niya towards the end but of the match. But then again, bumalik, bumalik pa rin talaga pa. siya. Yung puso, yeah. doon natin nakita na nilalaban niya talaga yung laro na to. That's what Mika was saying. Doon magkakatalo uh, in the fifth set, yung puso ng magkaparehong kukunan. The volleyball action will continue tomorrow and this will be our featured match. It is the EAC Lady Generals versus the JRU Lady Bombers. That will be showing at 2.30 p.m. on GTV. Mika, it was a pleasure working with you as we see our matches on Tuesday as well. Letran, the Lady Knights will be taking on the EAC Lady Generals that is live on GTV at 2.30 p.m. How was the experience? First game ever as an analyst. 
umabot ng five sets. I know, okay na nga, JJX natin, pero <laughs> nagkatotoo pala. It was very fun. Sabi ko nga, mas madali talagang na ikaw yung kasama ko, pero abangan pa rin natin yung mga susunod na game. Once again, thank you so much to Mika joining us now as our newest member of the NCA broadcast team. For Mika Reyes, our director, Direct Elmond Salvan, of course, our courtside reporter, Lexi Gonzalez, and all of us from GMA Synergy, ako po si Anton Rojas, nagsasabing maraming maraming salamat po sa inyong panonood. We will see you all again next time sa pagpapatuloy ng NCAA Season 99 Women's Volleyball as we feature the new heroes of the game. Bigong makapasok sa 2024 Paris Olympics si Tokyo Olympic gold medalist at Pinay weightlifter na si Haydelin Diaz. Hindi nakamit ni Diaz ang kailangang puntos sa 59 kilogram weightlifting category sa qualification rounds ng 2024 IWF World Cup. Dagdag naman sa listahan ng pambato ng Pilipinas para sa Paris Olympics ang Pinay weightlifter na si Elrin Ando. Pinataob ni Ando si Diaz sa parehong weight category. Si Ando na ay kasyam na Pilipino na lalaban para sa Paris Olympics. Back-to-back -back champion ang Letran Squire sa NCAA Juniors Basketball Tournament. Tinalo nila ang Perpetual Junior Altas sa Game 3 ng Season 99 Finals nitong Sabado. Sa buong game, nanguna ang Squires at hindi pinahal. Mga kapuso, nandito pa rin kami sa Phil Oil Echo Oil Center sa lungsod ng San Juan for another edition of your favorite sports and entertainment show. This is Game On. My name is Anton Ross. With me, of course, a man who has been working so hard. He covered the first game with our brother Martin Javier, mm -hmm. Coach Hammer Martin Antonio. What a day and what a first week of NCAA Volleyball. Well, definitely, ang ganda ng action natin for today. Of course, in the first game, CSB took care of business early. Nagmamadali, parang may lakad na yung linggo. Etong Lady Blazers, they took care of business 3-0. to zero. And then the Sun Beda, Lady Spikers, Ooh. finally getting their first win in three tries in the coach Edgar Baroga era at the expense of the San Sebastian Lady staff. I was wondering kung sino sa mga analysts yung uh, magiging rason kung bakit tayo magkaka fifth set. So we welcome Mika yep. Reyes. It's been a long time coming. Siya na lang yung uh, pulling analyst who's a really prominent name who hasn't ventured into this trade. So Mika Reyes being welcomed with a five-set match. First five-set match ng NCA Season 99. And we're not complaining because we love what San Sebastian and San Beda showed today. Ganda nga nang inilaro ng San Sebastian. Pero para silang naging diesel noon, mamaya hihimayin mm. natin yan. Yeah. Pero they were able to get their bearings in the third and the fourth set. Kaya lang kinapo sa dulo and Angel Habakon, OMG. Ang ganda nang inilaro niya and uh, Lady Red Spiker, she really earning that victory. When Martin Antonio says <laughs> OMG, that's how you know how important what happened happened was. All right. Because a lot has happened, let's review it for a week. Vito sa ating week in review.
Mga kapuso, let's take a quick look back at the early goings of our brand new NCAA Volleyball Tournament here in the first edition of our Week in Review. On opening day last Sunday, the Benilde Lady Blazers began their quest for a three-peat on a high note as they dominated EAC 25-15, 25-14, 25-23. Graduating middle blocker Mitch Gamet led the way for the Taft Avenue-based squad with 10 markers. In the match that followed, Perpetual flexed their muscles against JRU, winning 25-14, 25-14, 25 Reigning league MVP Mary Rose Dapol top scored for the Lady Altas with 16 points. On Tuesday, Mapua outclassed San Sebastian with a 25-20, 25-23, 25-18 victory. Sophomore Super Roxy De La Cruz exploded for 18 points to lead the Lady Cardinals. After that, LPU needed four sets to dispatch San Beda 25-17, 13-25, 25-15, 25-21. Joanne Duguna was the player of the match as she finished with a team-high 17 points. Nung Miyerkules naman, winalis ng JRU ang EAC 25-20, 25-20, Pinangunahan ni Kyla Hasareno ang atako ng Lady Bombers sa kanyang labing tatlong puntos. Pagkatapos nun, matagumpay ang naging pagbabalik ni Coach Oliver Almadro sa NCAA sa pagkapanalo ng letran laban sa Arellano, 16-25, 25-17, 25 Si Coach O ay alumnos ng letran at naging player pati na rin assistant coach ng kanyang yumaong mentor na si Nes Pamilar. And that, mga kapuso, were the results of the first three match days of NCAA Season 99. Keep it right here on GTV for more volleyball updates and highlights of our new heroes of the game. So my question to you, Coach Hammer, mm -hmm. is among the matches that we did a recap on, what was your favorite? Kasama ba yung five-setter natin ngayon? Kasi for me, that was uh, one of the more exciting games this season. Not because San Beda won, but yeah. again, San Beda was leading by two sets. Eh. Okay. And then San Sebastian finally got their groove. Mm -hmm. Dere Derecho, Kat Santos really putting on a show. Angel Habakon sa kabila. Clayne Abraham also stepping up. Maraming mga bagong pangalan new heroes na antabayan na natin. But that was one of my favorite games. Ah, dahil back and forth yung laro. What about player? Which player to oh you caught your attention and you were like, wow, this player has potential? Well, actually, nagpakita na to last year. Joe Daguno was yes. very impressive okay. for me in their past two wins. Talagang... Uh, siya yung uh, nag-step up yung laro dahil mas malaki yung responsibility niya. And meron din sa St. Benilde si uh, Nolasco, si Sam Nolasco. Yeah. I did her game earlier but she has more responsibility now. Mas maganda yung inilalaro niya. Mas pinupuntahan siya ng opensa. And I, I like the tall girls that can actually move and dictate the defense. And I think Sam is next in line na eh, to oh. being that dominant uh -huh. and imposing middle blocker because we know that this is the last year of Mitch Gamit. And, you know, Mitch Gamit, we've talked about her character development. And speaking of her, dahil maganda ang pinapakita niya, siya po ang ating kauna-unahang Power Player of the Week for the year 2024. The era of new heroes continues in season 99, and this time, it's her story that will unfold as the volleyball tournament has officially taken off. Easier said than done, though. Last April 7, the much awaited opening ceremony took place with an exciting lineup of matches. Loot. Cross -court hit. But perhaps the most anticipated storyline in this chapter of the NCAA features the reigning queens of the league, the Benilde Lady Blazers. The defending back-to-back -back champions began their quest for a three-peat with an intact core led by setter Cloan Mondoniedo along with high flyers Gail Pascual her presence felt here. and Jade Hentapa. Season 97 MVP Micah Go finally made her return to the court as well. However, among Coach Jerry Yee's collection of stars, it was Mitch Gamit who shined the brightest. But what a hit from Gamit! Over the top! 
Gamit was a force to be reckoned with as she top scored for the Lady Blazers with 10 points. The graduating middle blocker led Benil to their 30th straight victory in the NCAA and more importantly set the tone in their quest to become a dynasty. All hail to our first NCAA Power Player of the Week for the year 2024, Mitch Gamble. Congratulations muli sa ating kauna-unahang Power Player of the Week for the year 2024, Benilde's Mitch Gamit. And from one middle blocker to another, we have once again Mika Reyes with us here on Game On. At nalaman natin na one of the reasons why Angel Habakon scored 25 points today is because of the presence of one Mika Reyes. Sobrang na-inspire itong si Angel. Kaya naman we have on the show here on Game On, Mika Reyes alongside Angel Habakon. Yes, hello again. Namiss niyo ba ako? <laughs> nabitin, nabitin, nabitin sa 5-sets. Nabitin ka na sa 5-sets. Ikaw, Angel, nabitin ka pa ng 5-sets. Yun na yun, tapos na yun. <laughs> okay, so sa totoo lang, first time ni Mika mag-analyst. Uh, yes. So, nagkataon na San Beda, San Sebastian yung kinover niyang game. So, I wanna ask, when you first saw na parang naglalaro ka sa court, nakita mo, Mika Reyes ba yun? Actually, ano yung paano ba? Actually po, hindi po, hindi ko po napansin yung mga pagsabi na, pagsabi na, sabi na ako doon, sabi, si Mika Reyes po yung ano, yung commentator. Sabi ko, ho? Huh? Oh. Like, oh, nakakaya naman. Sabi <laughs> <laughs> ko, ho, huh? what? <laughs> what more kung alam mong si Mika yung commentator? Oh. <laughs> Your reaction, Mika, na siyempre, you know, matagal ka ng volleyball player and now you're inspiring the next generation, yan, yung mga batch ni Angel, na to, to play well and, you know, to continue the tradition of increasing the level of volleyball dito sa Pilipinas. Actually, uh, I'm very flattered, yes. <laughs> flattered ako na... Um, isa daw ako sa mga idol. Pero, syempre, I'm very proud na makita yung mga players natin ngayon. Sobrang tumataas na rin yung level of uh, paglalaro nila. And for sure, magiging maganda pa talaga yung mga laban sa upcoming games. Coach, what can you say about Angel? You know, you're nakababad ka sa San Beda, mm -hmm. sa gym. How, how is uh, Angel's discipline in the weights room? 99, 99 out of 100. But uh, alam mo kasi si Angel was playing very well in the off season. And pag nagkikita kami at pag nagkakausap niya, ano ang lagi siya nasabi sa kanya, eto na yun, yung season niya. Kasi matagal niyang inantay ito. And uh, alam mo Angel, you, you've, uh, you've done really well the past three games. Ano pa yung mga makikita namin adjustments mo? Kasi ngayon, meron na silang tape, panonorin ka nila, scouting ka nila. And pag gusto mong papuntang pro, parang si Ate Mika. So ano yung mga adjustments pa na tingin mo kailangan mo ang gawin? Um, for me, po sa ngayon I don't have ano pa I don't have thoughts pa on going pro kasi ano I feel like hindi pa po ako qualified doon so I need to to work hard more pa and then to team team up with my teammates pa since nagjejel pa po kami ngayon so ang focus ko po ngayon is to to ano to to help my teammates to help my team to win another game to win the next games pa na lalaroin namin and um, I'm just there to remind them na i-enjoy lang lahat ng games kasi volleyball is a fun event so we need to enjoy and then have fun. Kanina napansin namin ni Mika yung suot-suot mo na necklace. Yeah, okay. yung, 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 yung kasi 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 this is a sports and entertainment show, di ba? So yung mga fits, oh. So kailangan lagi mo nang isuot. Ano ka ba? Angel bagay sa'yo. Yeah, oh. Tingin ko yun yung lucky charm niya. Island girl from this league series. Yes. Wait, di ba si Scotty Thompson yun din, Bislig City, Surigao del Sur? I think so. Doon siya naglalaro ng mga... Ah, hindi, Digos pala. Digos, Digos. Digos si Scotty Thompson. May kuwi tanong pa ako, Angel. Si Payusing. Uh, no, James, okay, James okay, Payusing. Okay, okay, may, may question pa ako, Mika and uh, Angel pa yun doon sagutin. Gano'n ka-importante yung relationship? Sinabi nga ni Anton kanina sa coverage, yung setters. Kasi ikaw, marami kang setters na magagaling na pinagdaanan. Si Angel, converted na spiker to setter si Kat. Gano'n ka laking adjustment yung ginawa mo? Hindi um, naman. For, for the respect of Kat, uh, um, ano po, 
na na appreciate ko yung effort, na appreciate ko yung improvement niya, na appreciate ko yung pagiging vocal and then leadership niya sa loob ng court. So for me, there's no really an adjustment. Like kailangan lang po talaga namin mag-communicate and the connection is there po kasi kami po talaga yung parang close po talaga sa team. So there's no any adjustment na po kasi kung sasabihin niya, "Jol, doon ka." So as a spiker doon talaga kasi syempre sila po yung diktador sa loob ng court. So parang wala lang po. Parang yun lang po, parang pagkakaintindihan lang po. Yes. And personally, sabi ko nga rin kanina na yung setter din kasi talaga yung magko-control ng laro. So, syempre, kailangan mo rin siyang tulungan na bigyan mo rin siya ng kumpiyansa na kapag sinetang ka na maganda o pangit man, susubukan mo talaga makakuha ng puntos. And malaking tulong yon para sa setter mo. Okay, so ngayon medyo ibubuking ko yung mga age natin. Kasi Wag! this is uh, three different generations. There's the Anton and Hammer generation. There's the Mika Reyes generation na kinover na natin. And now this is the next generation, yung Angel Habakon generation. Oh. Okay, Angel, how young were you when you first learned about Mika Reyes? How old were you when, how young when you were starting to watch volleyball? Um, um, as far as I can remember, grade, grade four. Okay, grade four ako. Oh yeah. College na ako. Yeah. Siyempre po, ano talaga, like, Unang-una, inspiration ko pa talaga si ano, si Alisa Valdez. Then, yung nag-ano yung rivalry, uh, grabe yun. Hindi na ba nga rin niya sinasabi <laughs> yun? Tutok na tutok yun! Tutok na tutok kami doon. Sabi ko, grabe Lasal. So, I'm from Lasal School din po. So, uh, ano mo? So, animo ka? Yeah. So, animo, pwede naman siya ngayon. Kanina nga, ano, yeah. ano nag-joke oh, oh. siya eh. Animo San Bella, <laughs> animo Lasal. So, sa Ateneo Lasal, you were cheering for me ka. <laughs> okay lang. Masaya na din ako, ha? Pero, okay pero, lang, pero, pero grabe. Pero, <laughs> okay lang talaga. Kaya kasi sabi ng one-way goal ako eh. Kasi from, I'm from Lasal, tapos nag-support ako sa Ateneo, pero grabe talaga yun. Kasi pumunta kayo sa amin po. Oh. Tina mo, pumunta pa kami sa inyo. Oh. Wow. <laughs> This is an episode of reunion. <laughs> Yung 10th okay. year anniversary ng school namin, pumunta okay. kayo doon. Oh. Sabi si <laughs> Alam mo, Anton, sabi mo ang reunion, sa inyong mga magandang masama natin sa Game On podcast natin, yung mga, yung mga ganitong conversations na, I mean, new generation of players na ina-idolize and then now, nakocover na si Game On. Alain mo, grade 4, pinapanood ni Angel mm -hmm. si Mika in college. Siguro kayo, by that time, working na. <laughs> yes, I was working. I was the one probably You're covering, covering the game. Ako yung commentator kasi at Ateneo Lasal eh. Diba? So ngayon, first time small ni world, Mika, small yes, world. it's a small world and we all come together here on Game On. Angel, what can uh, we expect pa from San Beda? And like, would you like to see Mika again cover your game? Oh, oh. feel ko lucky charm talaga namin sa Ati Mika. Oh. <laughs> Ati Mika, <laughs> ito teams niya. Oh, sure, it's a Friday. <laughs> ah, ito, ito, isa pa. So I was asking Mika na, sino yung naalala mo pag nakikita mo si Angel Habakon on the court? Sabi niya, Sid Demesilio daw. Yeah, kilala mo siya. Yeah. Naalala mo siya, yes. So, ikaw naman. Wow. So, aside from Ate Eliza, who, do you pattern your game with with anybody? Uh, uh, for now, I'm looking up to CC Rondina mm -hmm. because the the ano the jump is so very. I'm looking up to her like grabe talaga. Okay, guys, since this is your first time on the show. We want to teach you how we do the extra. So we turn our fingers like this and point to the camera when we do our final goodbyes to lahat ng mga manonood. So for Mika Reyes, for Angel Habakon, and Coach Hammer Martin Antonio, ako po si Anton Rojas para sa inyong paboritong sports and entertainment show. This is Game On! <laughs> That's okay. First time. <laughs>